Up and welcome to another MoGraph MoCast. I'm Dave. And I'm Matt. And joining us today is one of my favorite people in the entire world, Miss Jessica Herrera. Hello. And MoGraph is a supplement to our site, MoGraph.com, which is a motion graphics tutorial site with tutorials, plugins, podcasts, and other MoGraph stuff. And on the show, we talk about everything ranging from motion graphics to Cinema 4D, After Effects plugins, render engines, doing business, doing taxes, being a contractor, or working for the man. You can email us info at MoGraph.com and let us know what you think about the show. Questions, queries, concerns, grievances, uh, comments, and holiday wishes. Holiday wishes? Holiday wishes. All Don't right. forget about next week while I'm thinking about it. Don't forget about the holiday show next week. It's going to be fun. The 23rd. It's one yeah. of my favorites. As long as the It'll EJ shows up show. on time this time, you <laughs> know, it's going to be a great show. No, that wasn't the holiday show last week. That was that, the 200th was, episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was more yeah. important than the holiday show. That only comes well, around every 200 episodes. He'll be here next week. We'll be sitting by the fire drinking scotch and, you know, we're, we're, wearing ugly Christmas, Christmas sweaters and things like that. So make sure okay, you join yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I was trying to think if I had an ugly Christmas sw- sweater. Oh, do you? Yeah, okay. I mean, I've got that Batman cardigan. It's awesome. I mean, you could just wear a green shirt and be invisible. <laughs> yeah. I will do I that. that. Thank you. So, I've uh, been working on the crafts. I, I still have super glue all over me from working on crafts yesterday. <clears throat> and um, I was printing some 3D prints of some things. And mm-hmm. so, as I, I talked about probably, I don't know, a while back on the show, we are working on our classes that we're going to be launching. And so I have been vigorously editing Mark's Houdini course. And so, Man, I'm so in the process, I have no, I am, I'm, I'm very, very close here, but um, in the process, I've been learning a lot about Houdini, including <coughs> the use of VDBs mm-hmm. a lot, some turning something into a VDB and then turning it back from a VDB into geometry. So mm-hmm. I, I use this real world application, although I use this, I use Cinema 4D for this. I was working on something in C4D and I was going to print it out on the 3D printer. Well, Cinema 4D is very forgiving when it comes to geometry or little imperfection or something. And I got this thing all set how I wanted it and I brought it into the 3D program. And when I did that, it looked terrible. Mm-hmm. It just had all these little problems up at the top. It was an ornament I was working on, and the hole wasn't right. And I'm like, okay, I got to go into cinema, and I got to fix all this garbage. And I get in there, and I'm I'm thinking about Mark's course, and I'm like, you know, what I could do is convert this to a VDB. So mm-hmm. I converted it with the VDB Measure. mesher, mm-hmm. or the VDB, yeah, uh, the VDB tool, and then turned it back into a <clears> mesh, <throat> and it printed perfectly. It was great. So that well, is an go. awesome 3D print hack. If you're having trouble with something not looking right, just mesh it and turn it back to Geo. And how did they come yeah. out? Are they beautiful? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So looks great. I uh, did want to talk a little bit about uh, Camp MoGraph. Camp, well. Camp MoGraph. Well, Jess is here. <laughs> Are you going next year? E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In case you guys didn't hear, that was. Yee! <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun, Matt. Do you want to do? Do you want to do the sponsor list? Yeah, let's do the sponsor list. Hold on. Where are we at on the sponsor list for go. next year? Uh, we have oh, we the have dates it, for added, that right now. Uh, yes, it's October eighth through eleventh in Portland, Oregon. Tickets go on sale April twentieth, twenty twenty. Um, April. And now, keep in mind that April twentieth, uh, the 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 day that the tickets go on sale. I believe it's mm-hmm. a Monday, and I believe it's also the week of NAB. Yes, so it just is. be uh, just yeah. be aware, you know, when you're doing that, you're getting ready. Yeah. Uh, but big shout out to our sp- our sponsors, as always. Um, we've got our village sponsors. So uh, any village you stay in, you will be staying in one of these three uh, uh, sponsored villages. We've got the Maxon Village, um, the fine makers of Cinema 4D and Redshift. Um, we've also got Video Copilot. Andrew Kramer and team, we love them very much. And Octane Render, uh, the makers of Octane Render, who we, <laughs> we, we use almost exclusively. 
And then um, super excited as one of our gold sponsors, uh, Minimal Massive. They are a local Portland agency and uh, a creative company. Uh, they've got really, really awesome work. So make sure to check them out. Uh, if you want some more information, go to campmograph.com. Subscribe to uh, get updates and stuff like that. Uh, check out some of the pictures of camp because this camp is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, I'm very, very excited to see if anyone can climb that three-story climbing wall. <clears throat> Dave thinks Not everyone me. will be able to do it, but uh, me? I don't. Yeah, or was it you? I don't know. No, I didn't. I wasn't talking about. I that. don't think. I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it. I 100% know I can't do it. I cannot climb yeah. at all. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't These think I would be able to. Do it. <clears throat> They're tiny. See, yeah, but still, like you, because you're so tiny, I think you've got less weight in order to like carry up. Like, I feel like if I was just <laughs> yeah. a kid, I could probably do it, you know, b- I went because to the I'm gym a fat and... old man, you know, I can't. <laughs> I went to the gym and I did like five kilos and I was struggling. I was like, oh my God. I don't know how much Ugh. a kilo is. See, I when know, someone, does, oh, I know when someone goes to the gym here, grams. <laughs> Yeah, but when someone comes Ooh. here to the gym in America and does five kilos, that means something else. <laughs> Ooh. Ding, ding. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's, uh, well, okay, I only have one, one other thing. No, I've got two other things before mm-hmm. we really get into it here. Uh, don't have much for the show besides you and your whole background, Jess. Uh, but I did want to briefly talk about the new Mac Pro. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Let's let's do it. Let's get into it. Yeah. So this this and, and fully the, uh, loaded and, and the joke that you made that uh... oh <laughs> man, I was so bummed. I wrote this joke and I had it in my notes, and then Grayscale Gorilla kind of took the joke. Well, they didn't take on their it. Podcast. They also had the joke as well. It was you know, it was similar. It wasn't uh-huh. the same joke, but I was like. <clears throat> Yeah, no, they showed the they showed the Mac Pro and it had the banana tape to it. And my joke <laughs> was, how can the fully loaded one be fifty thousand dollars and be that expensive because mm-hmm. it's not like it's duct taped to a wall, right? Yeah, that was my joke. And right. Yeah. Now I can't use it. But <laughs> boom, boom, the fully loaded boom, boom. version is fifty thousand dollars if you get a monitor and stand and the and the four hundred dollar rolly wheels that go on it. It's sixty one thousand dollars. Yep. And so my question number one is, you know what? You why? can take that four hundred dollars and go buy yourself like a, a, a like a twenty seventy super, you know, and then you wouldn't be able to put in your Mac Pro. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. I, okay, what is the reason for buying? Not just the Mac Pro, but the fully loaded fifty thousand well, dollar one. You've got the, one the thing machine. Is, okay, here's here's what I'm gonna say because I'm actually a I I I am a defender of the price tag for the Mac. All right, mm-hmm. because I don't think I don't th- like. Yes, I understand fifty thousand dollars is a lot, but you're also one paying a premium because it's the Mac OS. All right, we've always all of us who are on, who have ever been on Mac have always known that we're going to pay a premium. On a Mac, all right, and the Mac That's Pro a has never high premium. Yeah, what? You, but you you also have to keep in mind it's got 1.5 terabytes of RAM. I've never even <laughs> seen that in real life. My computer has 48 gigs of RAM, and that's that's like that's like the most I've ever had in a computer. You know, I'm not going to get imagine? all you, can, can Bill you Gates in the 80s and, and half, say you'll never need that. But one and a half terabytes of that. RAM, you could finally, finally. Play After Effects, you know, <laughs> timeline. No, that'll, no, that, no, <laughs> no that'll. <laughs> Probably maxes out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, people who are buying the super duper maxed out versions, they're not, they're not in our industry. You know, they're going to buy, they're going to buy maybe a, a, a bottom of the line Mac Pro or like, you know, a slightly upped version, or they're just going to build a PC, you know? I've yeah, never but- used a Mac. Never? You really? You really no. have never used a Mac? I'm very surprised. I feel I, like... Wow. Well, everyone here wow. at Animate uses Mac except for two... No, three PC people, including myself. Um, and I tried to use a Mac laptop the other day, and I was like, how do I use this? Where, where's, Win, where's the like, Windows 
how do I find programs? Oh God. That's interesting. So, <laughs> uh, well, when you were, did you go to college for this? I know that's a weird question, but you know, some people don't. Oh yeah. I went to, as in like university, I went, you know, whatever. yeah, uni, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. So were they, they, were they, were they all on PC when you went there? I was, my classes were all PC because uh, I was in the basement room, which was the weirdos kind of went down there. <laughs> <laughs> what? You weirdo? Was, no. Yeah, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no all funny. we could see was people's feet, like we were in the basement and yeah. No, no outside world. We we're just like the super nerds that would use just, you know, animating, I uh-huh. guess. The rest of them were all design students. So they all had their own uh, laptops and they were all Apple. Mm, and gotcha. they'd be like, ooh, look at my laptop. <clears throat> and I'll be like, ah, look at mine. It's like 100 kilos. And it, it, <laughs> it makes a that's, lot of noise. That's but a it lot works. of kilos. <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, the, the thing that Ryan Summer said, I wish I could find the exact quote, but he said something on Twitter to, to the effect of like, that's, that's a lot of money you're paying just to have the, the finder, you know, or yeah. like the to, iOS to have or, column whatever, view. or the OS column to have view. column view. That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of true. And, but I, it started me thinking about this whole thing. It's like, okay, what is the reason that people would pay the fifty thousand dollars let's just let's start let's try and figure this out i want to break it down i think deep learning is like the biggest thing because you've got all that ram so you can uh you can do some serious computations or something that's what i've heard people are saying oh yeah it would be used for people who you know want to do like ai or whatever stuff okay but i'm trying to figure out why would you configure it up to fifty thousand dollars like okay the ram you could get somewhere else you mm-hmm. don't have to have Mac RAM, okay? Uh, is it editors? Is it video editing? Is that what it is? I don't know. Because I'm just thinking, <laughs> okay, why sorry, would you... Tokyo <laughs> Megaflex. Dude, nobody's what? using Mac for deep learning. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, the thing is, isn't deep learning coming from the graphics card anyway, from the GPU? So, I don't like, know. You know. Aren't people putting all of these GPUs together for AI and... And all the things. I know it's the Bitcoin mining. It was all yeah. in the GPUs. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out what you would use it for. Is is it only because people have to stick with Mac, or is there another reason? It's it's not just the loyalty. Is it something else? What would keep you from spending that money on like a ton of machines and a ton of like ten, uh, 2080s or something? I don't know. Or Titans or. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, Liam says all the Kubernetes. What is yeah? But Kubernetes is the are the reason. Isn't the Kubernetes that's only that's only Nvidia? All oh, right, you can't you can't get the Kubernetes on Mac, right? I don't know. Big audio oh. studios for sure, but it's uh, it's such a marginal group though. You don't get the Netis. You're not deep learning. Okay, yeah. So you can't do that even with the AMD yeah. But stuff. you don't need a terabyte of RAM to do audio production. One and a half terabytes of RAM. No, you don't. Or We're doing audio production right now, and I've only got my 48 gigs. <laughs> yeah, I just, I guess I don't get that. There was, a, there was also something that, um, that uh, Billy responded to on that thread of Ryan's that I thought was, he put it really well, but I can't find the dang thread all of a sudden. But Billy's mm-hmm. in the chat. Maybe he'll write r- what he wrote on there, but... You know, even people like uh, like Barton, we were texting with Barton, and he was like, what are people going to use that for? Like, you have all that Here's power, thing, but like, it's still on one machine. You can't here, send it off to the farm because you don't have any money left for a farm. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is why I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of a defender of this. You know, if you're, if you're paying a premium for the Mac OS, that's fine. If you enjoy the Mac OS and you know you're going to be you're going to be paying a little bit more, that's fine. Because the maxed out trash can Mac was something like $12,000. And what was the processor in that? It was like a 12 core or something like that. You know, it was a you, 12. Yeah. yeah. So you can get a 12 core Mac Pro, uh, the same specs, I think, as the trash can for cheaper now than what you had. Everyone's, I, I think everyone's trying to compare it to, you know, I don't know. Everyone's trying to compare it to PCs and it's not the same thing. You know, I, I, I bet you there will be plenty of people who uh, like staying on a Mac platform 
who spend the seven thousand dollars in order to get a 12 core mac pro you know and then they're they're happy with it and then as soon as you've got as soon as you've got you know octane redshift and all the other pla- all the other things working on AMD GPUs, then it's like, okay, your world's much more open. You can work on, you know, an actual. You can work on a Mac Pro and do all these things too. Well, like Tesla Rock says in the in the chat, like, yeah, like I I get that, like more RAM, you know, if you have like a ton of tracks and sound banks and all this stuff going on, you do hit a wall. But still, why wouldn't you use a PC in- instead? That's cheaper. Some people like the Mac OS. Like I said, it's all about, like, if money were no issue to you, Dave, right now, would you buy one? Actually, if money no. was not an issue, Actually, no. I would buy three of them. Well, I, maybe if I had one sitting <laughs> one around. One for me, but, one for you, and I one for Jess. But and we would be recording gonna... right now on these yeah. new Mac Pros. <laughs> but we wouldn't. You know why? Because <clears throat> our streaming software doesn't work on Mac. That's true. No, you I know, use, like all yeah, of a sudden, true. all of the things that I'm using are not compatible with Mac anymore. Right, but then I you just find something over. else. It's the exact same thing I with moving back, same... moving from. A, this is the this is the exact same argument we had when I was trying to convince you to move over to a PC full time. You're like, oh, right, but, but no, you, all my stuff is on here's Mac. The blah, blah, blah. Here's the difference, though. Here's the <laughs> you difference. You did a little bit you. of research and then you figured out what you could do in order to get it to work on PC, right? right? And it would just be bad. But here's the difference: is that with the mass migration of people moving back, which we know it mm-hmm. is, the, the, so many pros have just given up at mm-hmm. this point. It is just like, um, just like Apple not really caring about pro because that's not where their customers are. The people who make the software know that that's not where the customers are either. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's the reason that you could download Steam for Mac, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get Red Dead Redemption 2 on your Mac. Right. Because it's not compatible and they know that there's not an audience for it. So now it's the same problem that we had back in the day when I switched from PC to Mac, like in 2003. I can't find this piece of software for Mac. There's nothing that will replace it because nobody wants to make it anymore. Right. I I totally understand that. I'm sure there's something out there that you could find that could, you know, work. But, you know, it's, it's, if money, if money is no issue, you know, and you're getting a, you know, a five million dollar project from someone. And you're like, OK, well, we need a couple more Mac Pros. Let's just buy out the Max ones. A hundred thousand dollars after uh, of a, on a five million dollar you know, project. Whatever. No big deal. Seven thousand dollars. Even if you're getting the 12 cores, you know, you buy 10 of those. Seventy thousand dollars is the price of one maxed out Mac Pro, you know. Some people just well, like working on the Mac OS. Like honestly, if it oh, was three that. grand, if it was three grand for that Mac Pro and it was a twelve core, I'd buy one. I'd work in it. I'd go back to yeah. Mac. It's actually a good question, Liam. Does it play Crisis? <laughs> oh my gosh! I would like to know if it plays Crisis. Yeah, I mean, technically, it doesn't play Crisis because it's not compatible. Right. Right. Is there a Mac version of Crisis? I don't know. Boy, we we've, we've started a whole chat here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's it's not that I don't understand, it's that I I'm baffled by the reasons. I'm baffled by I'm baffled by as me who was the ultimate Mac fanboy who would mm-hmm. never give up an Apple and finally gave up. I'm now just you were trying converted. to wrap my brain around it. You were converted but, to PC, you know? And then you realized the reasoning behind it. Now Right. Okay, for me, for, okay, uh, 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 okay, Jess, do you own a mm-hmm. purse? Um, no. Okay. You know, well, yeah. All right. A coin purse, yeah. My actually. wife has a purse. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, I'm lazy. I just kind of have my card in my bag. All right, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> my wife has a purse. I, I told her, I said, hey, let me buy you. She, she she always wants two things for Christmas, Uggs and a new purse. So I bought her Uggs and I said, all right, tell me what you want for a new purse. So I start going online looking at Louis Vuitton purses because I'm like, I'm going to blow her mind. I'm going to buy a Louis Vuitton <laughs> purse. Right. And so I start looking online and I was like, OK, these are really expensive. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And so I was looking at a little tiny clutch about this big that'll hold about 10 credit cards. And it was still a thousand dollars. Right. But for some people, 
that that having that thousand dollar Louis Vuitton, you know, clutch is worth it to them because so it's a status you know, symbol. It's a status more. symbol, brand, you know, you know, yeah. it holds credit cards. So it's it's it has a use, you know. Yeah. Just give her a plastic bag like I Oh, use. I bought her a Kate Spade $70 <laughs> purse. It's all good. <laughs> She's not watching, is she? She she bought it and told me, oh, you bought me this for oh, Christmas. Oh, this is my Christmas present? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, and she's already busted out the Uggs. I got nothing for her to open on Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Well, and Raphael is saying, you know, he still can't run Octane and Redshift on it. I guess it's not out yet, the yeah. the versions for it. But I did see some some reference that Joel's put on Facebook about you get like a year of of Octane or something if you That's interesting. buy one. I need to go revisit that. We are going to have him on the show. He's just yeah. been out of town. We've been trying to... to yeah, he's been out. over in Europe. Saw all of his... Yeah, I saw he was in, in, like, France or something like that. Yeah, That's he cool. was in France. Yeah. We are from I don't France. know. I really don't know the answer. It just... It's baffling to me. I would like to talk to somebody who bought the $50,000 version and say, hey, you know, I'm on a Facebook group that is all about Mac Pros, and they, like, they restore the old Mac Pro cheese yeah. graders, and... yeah these old ones and it's really funny to see what people are saying in there because even people in there are like i just i don't get it i can't justify it and now all the people that don't want to spend the money are going back to the trash cans they're going back to the cheese graters Mm -hmm. and they're modifying those like they have been you know and oh barton's this is barton's biggest point and and this is the big deal to me how long did it take for them to come out with a new mac pro from the last one how right. long did it take before that for them to get one? If you buy one of these now, it's not really upgradable. So how long is it going to take you to grab to you grab this brand new Mac Pro and then you're like, "Man, I really wish I could upgrade to this new technology." I mean, think how fast technology is is changing and getting better mm-hmm. and doubling. You're going to be sitting with that thing for at least the next 10-15 years, your $50,000 investment. Yeah, and it costs more than a it costs more than a cyber truck. I think that's something. Yeah, that was I think Billy said yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So tell you what, don't buy a Mac Pro maxed out Mac Pro. Just give me the money and I'll pay off almost all my student loans. Oh yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. Oh me, almost all my student loans. <clears throat> Boom, See boom, the boom, the boom. thing for me, okay, because it's it's like okay, well then you don't have to upgrade your Mac for a while because it's so good but then what happens when somebody comes out with a new video but card i don't think it is that, you that have good to... like from what i hear i'm pretty sure the 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 cpus that they're using are like older cpus aren't they am i wrong here they're uh, using the xeon what are they using ones, again right? xeon yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um well and those Sounds are more expensive fast. right I think so. Yeah, it sounds oh. fast, yeah. <laughs> I saw a video online where they did an unboxing, and I gotta say, it is it is super, super pretty. They take the, mm-hmm. the case off of it. Was that the one where it. they actually, like, uh, grated the cheese on it, too? Yes. <laughs> they grated cheese on it. I'm like, come on, guys, really? You got this brand new Mac Pro, and it's super expensive, and you're actually gonna grate cheese on it? Could you at least pretend you're... You're doing it instead of actually. You then you got to clean cheese out of your brand new. <laughs> you got to clean cheese out of your brand new Mac. What are you doing? Maybe they were just borrowing it, and then they just thought, "Oh, it'll be That's funny." Like, we're gonna return it this. <laughs> That's even worse. It's oh my not gosh. used, guys. I swear, it's not used. <laughs> wow, it is pretty inside. But when I look at it, you know, the first thing I think of though is the difference in cars back in the day. You know, 50s, 60s, 70s, and the cars you see today. What happens when you open up the hood of, like, a BMW? It's like there's nothing underneath except a perfectly sealed engine where you can't even see any parts. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like, you want to work on something? Too bad. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, it's there's You don't even see any wires. It's just super, 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 like, sealed off. It looks like everything is sealed inside another canister. And... It just doesn't make sense to me. I wish I had a good explanation. I haven't gotten a good explanation. Anyway, why don't we talk about uh, Ravcock? What's your flavor? What's your flavor? I wanted to talk about Arnold GPU. Yeah. 
I just yeah. uh, I just downloaded the trial. I was giving it a try. I like it. It's way faster than you know old CPU Arnold. You know, do they do they have it for uh for C four D? Yeah, R twenty one. They just do? downloaded. I was playing with it before the show. Okay, I was Why doing tests. I... I was doing tests with uh like testing the speed between Octane and Arnold. I, mm-hmm. I it, and like I can't claim anything right now. Octane won specifically because it was only a cube on uh, on a plane. So <laughs> well, that's if you're really only a doing cube. a cube on a plane, Octane is two and a half times faster than Arnold GPU. <laughs> that is a terrible, <laughs> terrible way to compare it. Uh, right, 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 yeah. right. So, okay. <clears throat> All right. Do you think that it's worth switching for? First Completely? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think here here's the thing. Here and here's why I would why why we will purchase Arnold GPU. Uh and I feel like I'm having to sell you on this, Dave. Like I've been having to sell you on it. You keep saying that you're trying to sell me on it, but I haven't been opposed to it. Okay, cool. The only um, thing I Billy, said is I let's do make have sure an, we have I do have money. an RTX GPU. I the thing is I have an RTX I've got a 2080 and I've got a 980 Ti. So maybe the 980 Ti is 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 borking it somehow you know (laughs) anyway um but the uh uh what was i saying um so i like the quote-unquote unbiased nature of octane i think it produces a super photorealistic um uh super photorealistic image um i i don't like redshift so much because of the biased nature of it you know and i like arnold because it's very similar. It's similar to Octane in the fact that it's like, quote unquote, unbiased. Right. And so Arnold and Octane produce much prettier, Is more it? photorealistic. Yes. More photorealistic okay. looking images right off the bat. You know, so uh, for me, it, it, what 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 happens to me is I'll start working on a scene in Octane. And if it starts getting like really 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 intense with a lot of lights and stuff like that i i and i need path tracing i'm just okay i'm done you know i'm gonna have to i would then move over to redshift you know but then i kind of struggle with some of the more photorealistic looking stuff you know having to really mess with that in order to make it look the same as my octane render but if i can easily just switch over to arnold which kind of has a similar quote unquote look you know whatever i would do that so you're yeah. saying use both use the right one for the job which is yes absolutely before, but the thing is for me like i and and it this is all everyone's own personal you know render engine of choice you know i i started out in standard i moved over to v-ray i found octane and i've been on octane it's always the first one that i reach to you know, but sometimes it gets to the point where I need to reach for something else, you know, or I'll know that ahead of time, you know, but Octane's always the first one that I reach to. Especially when I'm creating just a cube on a plane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very creative. <laughs> what a terrible te- <laughs> The cube rendered faster. I have seen some comparisons between Arnold and Octane and Redshift online uh, recently. Uh, that people are doing comparing them and a lot of people are like oh well you can see in the corner there's a little speck here and whatever but it's like okay i mean just in general it there's not much difference between any of them they're they're all looking pretty much the same in these renders you Mm -hmm. know um i did not realize that you you know the thing that um with indigo render Mm -hmm. uh with the uh the camera thing that um um uh Gosh, why is my mind blank? Um, I know what you're saying. With, you, the camera thing. What's <laughs> right? The, the thing. The, the thing. The camera the thing, thing. The thing. The camera thing. Jeremy Cox. Pin, Jeremy Cox, where you can do a. <laughs> I just wanted pinhole, to see how long I could wait before yeah, you actually got it. The pinhole camera. Th- yeah. Thing that he did with it. <clears throat> Somebody did that in Octane the other day too. <laughs> you know, I'd be interested to see. Can you do that with all the other ones? You know. Um, Tokyo Megaplex does, and Indigo Render. What? Did someone say Indigo? He loves yeah. Indigo Render. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is that? Why? Why he, he just does? I don't know. He's been he's been Metropolis Light Transport. 
I, I don't know. Like is it's that a Superman it, thing. I, <laughs> It's a company in the Superman universe. Oh, man. No, Metropolis is the city that they're in, dude. I know. Oh, light. It's a company that transports lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's the power company. (laughs) Oh, okay. I gotcha. (laughs) I gotcha. So I guess the main question is going to be buy a copy or not. I think it'd be good to buy a copy. I really want to get into yeah, it. Totally. I really want to try it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, you can go CPU or GPU. That's kind mm-hmm. of the thing right now. You, that, you go that GPU is also while you're building. Thing. Yeah. You switch to GP, uh, to CPU when you're done, and then you send it off to the farm, right? Yep. Yep. I Easy peasy lemon that. squeezy. Yeah. Hmm. In, in theory. All right. Well, Jess, let's talk about you. I have a <laughs> Octane PS. Oh, snap. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Nice. That's nice. Where'd you Where'd get you that? Where'd you get that? I, I want one. Think yeah. Graph. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh. oh. I went over to the booth. Oh. I, uh, Schmoozed my way to get one. Woo. I just got a t-shirt. It's a very oh, comfortable I didn't get t-shirt. One. And, I mean, I have a hoodie, I, you know. I want one. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... <clears throat> Let's talk about, first of all, your background. We know that, that you went to college in a basement. <laughs> yeah. And so, so where was this and what were you doing and, and was it helpful to you? Uh, I remember you guys having chats about uh, university degrees. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went to a university in Melbourne, Australia. Um, mm-hmm. I don't want to like say it was a bad course or anything, but... Uh, I found my course kind of crappy and I, (laughs) I don't want to say it was bad, but it was crappy (laughs) for me personally. I, it was good because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And in my first year, I realized what I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but then the rest of my course was just like, what am I doing here? I didn't really learn anything in class. Um, I did everything. Like 3D, I pretty much self-taught because mm-hmm. I almost failed my first 3D class because I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked really bad. Um, I still kept that rendered on my Facebook. So I remember Is it really? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Are we friends Can I bring on Facebook? It up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're friends on maybe. Facebook. Maybe. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's a horrible picture of like some chess pieces. and. I, like, uh, accidentally uh, beveled every single face on each other <laughs> and couldn't, sub- like, subdivide it, and I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, what does this look wrong? Um, it had, like, a hundred lights in it as well. It was awful. A hundred really lights? Yeah. Wow. When was, was like, this? This was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm about, not searching your Facebook. All right. <laughs> um... <laughs> It was a bit, well, I've got my phone right here. I can tell you exactly. Uh, it was like, a, uh, yeah. it, I think it would be in mobile upload. Maybe I've hidden it to people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no one should see this. That's funny. Um, it's good to look at your old stuff, though. That's the thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I kept it there, so then I remember how far I've gone. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's really bad. How did I find my photos? You should you oh, should no. redo that exact same render now. Yeah. yeah knowing you what you know, you know. It might still come out shit. I, don't oh, know. I, I found it. I found it. Oh, you Can, found it. Oh, yeah. No. It's from 2012. Can I bring it up? Yeah, do it. Just do it. I showed okay. it at Nodefest anyway, so everyone knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's not bad. No, it's terrible. No, that's not bad for your first render. The very back part where there's like a, a light you can see on the on the like the back projection, it's like a square. I didn't do that with just one light. I couldn't work out how to do that. There's like fifty lights in a square <laughs> pattern. I even remember doing that going, Oh, this is really slow to render this one frame. That's funny. Going, oh god. Yeah. The no, segments I no here. I love these segments. Right. I love yeah. the segments. The yeah. Segmenting. You can see some like fuzziness because some of the um, polygons are like on top of each other. Uh-huh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is oh, cringy. Oh. That was that my first awesome. attempt. It's not bad and for your first render. Awesome. 
I'm sure my <laughs> my first render looked looked way worse. <laughs> it was fun. But actually no, I lie, I hated that class. So <laughs> Was that was that just like a was that just like a, a standard Maya class? Yeah, it was like learn basics of Maya and then we did everything in like twelve weeks. It was like first week was like box modeling and then mm-hmm. second week was like uh, using a did you say lasse or lays? A lathe. Uh, people say yeah, lathe. Lathe, yeah. yeah. I used to say lasse. I don't know. <laughs> it was wrong. <laughs> There's a um, there's a lot of things like that in 3D that are like words mm-hmm. you only read and don't. You Fresnel, know. yeah. A, f- a Fresnel. Yeah, I thought uh, it was Fresnel. It is Fresnel. Is it Fresnel? It is Fresnel. Oh, okay. It is Fresnel. Well, I'm what, just what like questioning my whole entire life. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, what's the yeah. oh um uh oh man I had it. Well, there's another one that's like the uh, fillet. Fillet. Yeah. Oh. Fillet. Yeah. Do you fillet. Fill, fillet or do you fillet it? Oh. Fillet caps, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because like the the <laughs> at McDonald's, I used to work at McDonald's. It was my mom fillet was. of fish, fillet of fish. fillet of fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People say, "Oh, can I have a fillet of fish?" Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Wind? What's wind? Oh, it's wind. Uh, I've never heard it said aloud. <laughs> That's funny. Oh god. <clears throat> Some so, people over here don't even know what I like. What I say sometimes, like. uh I, I was like, oh, let's all go have a beer today. And they're like, a what? And I'm like, a beer. A beer. Let's have a beer. And they're like, what? I'm like, a beer. A beer. Be- beer. <laughs> Coffee. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so tell us about your journey. Tell us about um, okay, yeah, so that, how you got into what you're sucked. doing now. We want to so, know. So how do you go from yeah. being in a class that you absolutely hated to and the chess being piece. like, like you must have really enjoyed 3D in order to keep with it. Yeah, well, how did you keep going? So uh, I have a problem with failing. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like I didn't like getting such a bad score, and I knew that if I if I wanted to be good at like computers because I was terrible at computers, I needed to like get over this like hurdle. Because I, I, like, in my first year, I did a bit of coding, a bit of uh, web design, uh, industrial design, uh, yeah, visual communication, a bit of After Effects, Mm -hmm. film technology, oh, God, everything. Um, And then, because I was going so well in my first year, I was like, yeah, I'm so good at everything, woo. (laughs) And then I got to this one class, I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, nah, screw this, I'm going to spend like a couple of months trying to teach myself how to do so, it. So so yeah. you did this as kind of like a F you to the teacher to yeah. prove that <laughs> See, knows, I, I think I think this video and go, oh God, she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're like the ideal student though. Like well, you know, the one well, who realizes maybe. that it just was not good enough. So they push themselves to be the best version of themselves they can be. <laughs> or I don't know. <laughs> or you're just a, a masochist and you really like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> I like torturing myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, my second uh thing that I made was a bit more fun because I decided I'd like um characters because I used to draw a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh so I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a dinosaur, of course. Um, mm-hmm. so I made a Herrerasaurus mm-hmm. from like start to finish and rigged it, animated it, and then like rendered it in uh, V Ray. And then. Uh, Must have taken a while. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it, well, I did it over summer, uh, well, like winter for you guys uh-huh. um, break. So it was like three months. And then I came back into class and I was just like, Okay, I'm ready for this because the next class that I had in 3D was character modeling, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah, I can do this." Yes, and then um, like did the model in. I think I did it really early because I stupidly uh, booked a holiday to Europe mm-hmm. uh, two or three weeks before the end of semester because I'm really bad with dates, and That's I was funny. like, "Well, I've got to get everything done before then." So I quickly smashed that out, and then got like. I think it was like 99%. I lost 1% because my PDF had uh, too many um, 
pages or something. I can't oh remember. Stupid. That had nothing stupid. to do with my wow. 3D model either. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, come on, dude. Um, but then after that, I was like, I like 3D. And then um, from the – there is two – because I did a um, – I did the Herrerasaurus and then I did another dinosaur looking like fish thing mm-hmm. uh, for that class. And from those, I managed to get an internship. Um, so that was how I got my foot in the door. Yeah. If it wasn't for those 3D models. Just um, after like three classes, you got an internship? Yeah. That's yeah. pretty awesome. I, I um, was really determined to get into a job because I knew it was hard in Australia, especially as uh-huh. a student. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't care what the job was, and it was actually the job wasn't for me. It was in the Australian military. <laughs> awesome. It was um, I was like, like <laughs> dressed like this. Yeah. And everyone's in like suits, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what am I going to model today? And they're like, oh, um, we're not going to tell you, but uh, you have to sign this contract. Top secret. And, That's fine. Yeah. It's like 25 <laughs> years. I can't talk about what I worked on. So um, it's guns. Bombs. Yeah. They You're all like, have eyeballs. Uh, and... You don't have you don't have me modeling dinosaurs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That'd I be really funny. Like put little eyes on everything. <laughs> yeah, all... yeah. A bunch all of the like, have military big jets, wobbly eyes, yeah. <laughs> googly. Yeah. Oh, be scared! Be scared! <laughs> They're like, this isn't the this isn't what the design was supposed to be. I know, but it's, it's more extra fun. Button. Extra button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, that, that was fun. I lasted there six months before I was like, oh, this isn't for me, guys. Um, and then I started looking for another job uh, about, I think, like a month before I left because I knew I wanted to leave. And then I managed to get another uh, job. And that was literally the week after I finished the other one, I went straight into the other job. That's awesome. Uh, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was much more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had to use... Uh, 3ds max <laughs> Ooh. yeah so i had to learn how to use that um but it was really good because then i ended up uh, after that job um i went into another job that also used 3ds max mm-hmm. um and v-ray and then uh i was there for eight months before i realized i didn't like working with scientists astrophysics guys because they one don't understand any humor whatsoever. <laughs> uh, two, they could never like explain something really simple for me. I was like, I do not know what the mass of blah 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 is, and I can't put those kind of numbers in this program. Uh-huh. Um, it was just like a bit too like for me. How was that? Then, how was that um, again? A bit too what? <laughs> mind, it's a mind blown emoji. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Literally, um, I, I was learning about like black matter, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" And and my boss was like, "Actually, my boss was is kind of semi famous. Um, he was like my, well, he was my second boss, and then I had the dean on top because this was at my university that I was working at, and the dean was the guy that would tell me what to do, and then my boss would kind of." When he was there, when he wasn't like traveling, he would like be like, "Oh yeah, this is in lay terms what he means." Mm-hmm. And then he was like drawing a piece of paper about this thing that they were making in in the middle of Australia in the in the ground, and it was talking about like trying to see like invisible matter that actually is can like communicate with each other or something. I don't know. It was like crazy, and it was for <laughs> it's a, like the Star like Trek a, mycelium network yeah. from the. <laughs> discovery all right never mind <laughs> i i well we i have been on the discovery channel once when i was on holidays so. no i was See, referencing that's the new star trek uh series uh nobody uh, never mind that. that was that was a big nerd uh <laughs> yeah all right nerd test right there you all failed i'm I, sorry I, I, with flying colors <laughs> I, I haven't even watched like half of the star wars movies so that's okay mm. which ones have you watched the extremely original, original one. Okay, then you're okay. fine. Just stay there. What yeah. about what about Mandalorian? <laughs> oh, I have been watching that actually. I've okay. been enjoying it. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm just watching it for Baby Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think most people are right now. I've enjoyed like, the first two the episodes. Story Everything along. else is like just like, come on, yo, move. You guys the don't want to be in with the emotions. It's all the emotions. 
But every wow. episode is the same. He shows yeah, up pretty much <laughs> somewhere with Baby Yoda, and then something happens, and then Baby Yoda's in danger. You don't know who any of the characters are or what's going on because they're mm -hmm. different in every single episode. Right. And mm -hmm. you're like, is this going to be a character that sticks and ends up being in every episode? No. There's no main characters. There's just him and Yoda. And then by the end, he, somehow uh, Yoda saves the day. Baby Yoda <laughs> manages to help save the day. And then mm -hmm. they leave. And then the next episode, they're on another planet. Is that yeah. all that we're going to get? Yeah, I don't know. Like the Simpsons. The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, because every episode it goes back to normal. Yeah, but that that yeah. That's sitcoms in general. Yeah, right? this is true. I, yeah. That was the first thing that came to my head. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. So, question from Tokyo Megaplex: How often, if ever, do you get the chance to do figure drawing? I find it super difficult to make time, but find it super important for sculpting slash character work. I used to do a lot of, like, uh, you know, you go see the nude person, like, posing, <laughs> and then you draw them. Uh -huh. uh, I used to do that back in Australia, but over here I haven't done that. Um, but there's, like, heaps of, like, websites that you can, like, do, like, 30-second sketches, and, you like, the, it's got, like, a photo, and then you can, like, go to the next one. Um, yeah, I remember when I was actually working at the um, the university with the astrophysics guys. Um, my well, my absent boss, who used to be my boss, he was only there for a month. He was like really intent on like he was teaching me how to like everything about three D that wasn't actually three D. So he taught me how an actual camera works or how a real mm. light rig works and mm -hmm. um, how like. Uh, you know, all the lighting is calculated in V-Ray and all that kind of stuff. But then he also talked about um, drawing and perspective and he would give me homework and I was like, I'm not at university. <laughs> um, but it was actually really handy because he first told me, he's like, you draw really flat. Um, if you're going to be a good 3D artist, you have to think about perspective. And then I actually started thinking about, I was like, oh, my God, he's like just, like opened my mind up. I didn't know. Um, but yeah, figure figure drawing. Most of my characters don't really have human proportions, so <laughs> yeah, I can do whatever I want. The guy's got yeah. a huge head. That's not normal. But <laughs> yeah, but you you have that artistic background though, and that's so helpful. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. a lot of people who go to school they're trying to do all of that. You know, and they don't already mm -hmm. have that. It's, you you went into it having that a little bit. Um, and Tokyo Megaplex also said, what was the other question? Oh, any chance you might go to Pictoplasma? Have you spoken oh, yeah. or attended? I'm going this year. I mean, nice. next year. I didn't get to go this year because I had too many um, days off. Where's that? There's too any. many conferences it's to in go Berlin. to. Berlin. Okay. That's why. Well, yeah. I think there's one in New York as well, but um, I'm going to the Berlin one. Um, have a, a few friends like talking there and i am not talking there no uh, i don't think they really know who i am but um <laughs> i'm very excited to attend apparently big parties and and all the mograph friends and all the character work mm -hmm. yeah and you're berlin making, you making it to nab this year oh well i don't know <laughs> that would be super fun got to get all that Firstly, freelance work in first right yeah yeah, yeah first I need some uh, money, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then maybe start. I can consider coming over. Yeah. yeah, I do like America, and I want to uh, explore a bit more. I had a lot of fun at SIGGRAPH and MOGRAPH, um, your camp. Camp so MOGRAPH. That was fun. Yeah, you didn't what get to explore wanted? much at Camp MOGRAPH. Oh, I don't know. Right. Actually, you had that. You had well, the fun bus ride down from Montreal. <laughs> oh, geez. it was very pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 and the the car ride <laughs> with. Like four or five people from from all from different countries with different passports. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, that was fun. Didn't you get in a little trouble? Easy. Well, i I was expecting the worst. Like coming back, uh, going there. Yeah, like because getting into... here, they made you pay money, right? Oh my god, yeah. And I spoke <laughs> to so many people, and they're like, "I didn't have to pay," and I was like, "Why did I have to pay?" So what, what happened exactly? 
I so I, I there was only like five people on this huge bus and they were all uh, Americans so they all got through like super quickly but then they took me to this like tiny room and like sat me in there for a while before that this lady came out and then took me to another room and then she was like asking me questions like uh, have you um, like where are you going and all the normal stuff but then she was uh, asking me your last name, is that Latino? And then I think because of that, she was like super confused because I'm Australian, but then I was trying to right, cross Right, because the border. Australians can't have Latino last names. No, yeah, it's impossible. I, I was like, what? <laughs> um, and then she was unconvinced that I hadn't left America since I went to SIGGRAPH, but then I was able to prove that I was in another country because I went to Spain like three weeks prior and I had a stamp. I was like no one stamps passports anymore so mm-hmm. yeah God, lucky i had the stamp there but um yeah then she made me pay six dollars and i was like oh god and then i was like freaking out because i had no money and then i was like oh wait no i have a 10 10 so then i was like here you go and then i probably paid for a lunch i don't know <laughs> so you were an yeah. australian with a who lives in the uk australian yes. passport yes. in canada trying to get to the u.s yes that, yeah, that's a little... Yeah, with a Latino okay, last name. said he had to pay as well. Why do you have hmm. to pay? Oh, really? Why? why I don't understand the, the payment. Like $6? That doesn't make sense. It's the not-go-to-jail tax. Not-go-to-Gitmo tax. <laughs> that's oh, I don't know. And then they told me I, uh, on the way back that they had to take this piece of paper out of my uh, passport, but the guy just looked at my passport and it was like, eh. I was like, you don't want the paper? No? Oh, God. <laughs> So let's see what happens when I come back into the country. They're going to be like, mm, did you yeah. ever leave? Uh, yeah. But you were with you were with Phil, who was who had a UK passport. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he was in America going. Uh, this is going back, right? Going yeah, to Canada. Uh huh. Yeah. And then uh, little little Ryan, <laughs> he he was uh, an American yeah. going uh-huh. to Canada to fly to California. Right. Then you had Noseman, uh-huh. who mm-hmm. lives in Canada, but was coming from the U.S., but had a Greek passport. Everybody right. had a different passport. Right. And then yeah. Patrick, yeah. who yeah. was oh, yeah. Canadian. There was, was there, Canadian. We, it was a full, full packed back uh, mm-hmm. of the car, and we had other things in the back, too. Like the, big, <laughs> the big stick. and The big stick. Oh, right? yeah, the big stick, the walking yeah. stick. Yeah, <laughs> wow. it was pretty. But it was very annoying. And I was right in the middle and I was like holding, I think it was like a container. And then I had someone's backpack in the guitar oh, container. So, yeah, two hours like that. It was great fun. My legs went Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was fun. Well, well was we're, we're glad bus. you could make it to camp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seriously. It was great fun. This next one won't be so bad. <laughs> Where else do you want to go in the U.S.? Oh, I really want to go to New York. I mm-hmm. think it's magical. Um, and then I just want to, like, visit people. Yeah. Everyone knows cool things to do in their um, towns. So then if I go visit people, I'm like, yeah, what's cool to do here? And then they'll be like, oh, let's go, like, hiking. And then, oh, let's go have a drink. Or, yeah. I, was, I just like traveling a lot. I expect to travel a lot this year. So, yeah. yeah just make, it out to, make it out to Denver. Denver's cool. Yeah, I thought Dallas that yeah. not, but Denver's camp cool. was supposed to be there. <laughs> it was it was originally, but we were getting some weird vibes with the the camp director and stuff. And yeah. so we're like, ah, I don't know, maybe l- let's look around. And then we found this place in Portland, and it's like, okay, that's where we're going. Yeah, it like, was really could, far too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's the, that was the number one thing because you saw us having to drive back and forth from. The airport to camp, the airport to camp, the airport to camp, camp, airport, you know. It was 45 it was minutes. One way. Mm-hmm. It was 45 minutes yeah. one way. So it was an hour and a half. An hour and a half out of your day, you know, yeah. just one person driving. So, but this new one is only 25, 30 minutes from yeah. oh, the camp. So, yeah. It, I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be so, so cool. So what are you doing now? What's like moving forward? What are you working on right now? Uh, so this is my last week at Animage, so, uh, I'm Hashtag just fixing up. life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, 
yeah, I, I'm going away over Christmas and then in the new year I'm going to start afresh, see what happens. Mm-hmm. Apparently it's uh, good fun to freelance in London, so yeah. let's see what happens. But, yeah, I'm trying to set up everything before I leave Adamade because um, there's no more 3D people left here. Really? One. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Was everyone just yeah. like they they just, I don't know, was there not a lot of 3D work there? No, not really, but uh, Ricard and I were the only people here this year. Last year, I think there was two more. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure of the, the time frame, but, um, yeah, uh, Ricard left about two months ago, and he's also freelancing. He said he loves life, mm-hmm. um, and so now I'm going to join him. That's cool. So let's see what happens. The, but, I... yeah, the, Go ahead. there's uh, heaps of new people starting at Anime, so they won't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> so I when you're creating, 3D, mm-hmm. I was gonna say the 3D character stuff. Like you know, it's a it's it's specialized. You know, not a lot of yeah. people do it and do it well like you do. Yeah. You know, so I I I I think you'll be very successful. I hope so. I hope I don't let anyone down. <laughs> <laughs> it's my <clears throat> b- biggest fear. It's not so much like not getting work. It's like doing a bad job. <laughs> well, that's good. That's a that's a really good like mentality to have someone, don't like failing guys don't like failing yeah <laughs> <laughs> now in some of your work like on on your site which is herrerasaurus.work which we yeah. should probably spell out h-e-r-r-e-r-a-s-a-u-r-u-s dot work <laughs> that's that's difficult um, yeah, I'm looking, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, some of your work, like I, I wanted to ask you some questions about, like, because your character stuff. You know, when we were at camp, you were really good with clay modeling. Yeah, you know, um, you you made the plant and which pipe you, cleaners, surprisingly, yeah. <laughs> and pipe cleaners. <laughs> the the plant that you made with the butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was something else on it too. If you turned it around, but that wasn't on the Instagram post. <laughs> Um, no. The, the <laughs> yeah, because oh, you'll, you'll get bee. banned, right? The ter- twerking and the twerking B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh that. yeah, you, I forgot you drew about that some guy. stuff on the whiteboard while we were there. You remember the the little character? Mm-hmm. Like you just all, all these areas. So it's really cool because you can see that you're applying that into 3D. So you know, like on your site, for example, you've got the you've got this first one here with the it's well, it's your show reel, but the the thumb for it is. Um, <laughs> you know, a character with the computer on fire and all of that. It has this clay look to it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, I want to know more about that clay look and how you go about doing that. Like, are, are you, um, are you going all texture on that? Are you doing a lot of like shaping with the geometry? Uh, uh, it's a bit of both actually. Yeah. I've got a displacer on the model. Um, I think I, I haven't actually uploaded it yet. It's on my Vimeo, but I did a, um, a breakdown of the dinosaur walking and it's just clean geometry and then I put a displacer to kind of give it slight bump and mm-hmm. then I've got three different um, like textures overlaid on each other to give that uh, the fingerprints. I've got yeah. like a, a displacer kind of wobbly thing and then – uh, then a, a little noise just to give it some grit. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, apart from that, it, it was a quick turnaround as well because I made that character for my slides uh, for NodeFest. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so I had to have a lot of them because every slide had this character. Um, and so I only spent maybe three days uh, like doing the model. So it was like, I drew a really crappy sketch of it. And I was like, that's good enough. And then <laughs> created it in a day and then rigged it over two days and then started animating. Originally, I wanted to animate them all, but I didn't get time. That was ridiculous. <laughs> as somebody um, who dabbles with characters every once in a while, um, as you know, you saw the hippo because you helped me convert that hippo from <laughs> mm-hmm. Maya to Cinema 4D. And I just, yeah. I had such a hard time with so many things on it. And the waiting and all of that, and it's like I, I, I have frustrations because sometimes I just can't get it to do what I want it to do. It's like 
I'm trying to wait it. Things aren't working right. Do you, oh. do you get frustration like that? Or does that eventually go away as a character person? Oh, man. Well, so uh, coming from Maya uh, going into cinema this year, like I find the waiting progress in uh, Cinema 40 is a little bit uh, tiresome only because, like, if you want to paint something, it automatically is going to assign the weight to another uh, joint. But in Maya, yeah. you can actually like uh, either cull that out or you can use um, like you can go to zero on some points, mm -hmm. which in uh, yeah, Cinema 4D it won't let you have zero. Otherwise, it goes freaks out. It's like, Ugh. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes I like to like start the character off with zero weights and then paint them on myself, but you can't do that in Cinema 4D, which kind of freaks me out. But uh, my, my tip is like once you've like painted something, lock it and then go to the next part. And then if you oh, want your mm. weight to go on to another one, just like lock everything except for the two weights and it'll go to the other one. It's the only I tip see. that I can say. But, yeah, it is kind of tiresome I think like I was working on uh uh like a pro bono job here at Animate and I've had to rig a whole like uterus it's a character uh, uterus for um yeah periods and <laughs> it's, it's a period piece yeah it's a period piece um, <laughs> that's good that's good yeah, yeah. I like it yeah. um it is uh I could not flip uh, the weights on the hands, which are the little ovaries, little hand ovaries, <laughs> um, but they wouldn't flip. And so I had to redo the whole other hand oh. and I was so pissed off. Oh, the hands are the worst part too. Like yeah. it had very chunky fingers and let overlap in the middle. And Like an ovary like, does, oh. you know. <laughs> Chunky. Chunky <laughs> fingers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> do you have – do you have – um? Do you use Mixamo, first of all, uh, I guess? I, so I know of people, so at one of my first um, full-time jobs out of uni, uh, I had to use it a couple of times, but I used to get really pissed off at um, the, not so much the waiting, because I can easily fix that, but the, the actual rig not having IK. But I think mm -hmm. now with R20, what is it, 22 now? 21. Or 20, 21, sorry, 21. too far ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still at R20, so um, I think that one has, like, you can change, like, it comes in with the IK rig. That was the main thing that annoyed the hell out of me. I had to put my own in. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, most of the time that was only on really, really fast-paced jobs, uh, like, saying, like, two or three days. Mm -hmm. And so I'd one day model a full-on character next day texture uv map it and then the next day after that like uh put in mixamo and make sure everything worked so those kind yeah. of projects were the worst Jeez. but not the best quality work they're not on my show reel that's for sure but <laughs> <laughs> yeah see that hippo i was working on I, and matt was trying to help me with this too it's like the the problem with Mixamo is you'll bring something in and it's like, okay, set where the set where the crotch is, set where the knee is, mm -hmm. and on weird characters that are different, yeah. like this hippo, it's like mm -hmm. I don't know where to put that. I don't know where to put it. Like I'm sure there's a point that you could put that to where it works better. The other thing I don't like about it is like you you bring stuff like that in and then you want to bring it in again later. And it's not going to be exactly. You could bring the thing into to Mixamo ten times, and you're going to get a different different result mm -hmm. every you time. You can uh, copy the uh, weights over if you mm -hmm. have the same model. So um, if you have two rigs, but yeah, then again, yeah, are they in the different places? I don't know. I had problems <laughs> with that too. I was trying to copy weights, you know, because you can save mm. weights and load weights and all that. I was having the worst time. Matt was trying to help me, but mm. really what it came down to is for me, I had to come up with a character that I could actually just export. Because if you export the, the rigging with it, it'll bring it in and it won't ask you those questions. But I had to get it to a point where it would come in, it would do a different dance good enough. Mm -hmm. you know and mm. then bring it back and even in the end i still it, luckily i was putting a skirt on this hippo mm -hmm. so in the end all the garbage geometry <laughs> that was going in in the crotchal region 
was was able to be covered up by this skirt you know it's just it was so maddening i'm like there has got to be an easier way to make this jive that's that's the new lipstick on a pig putting a skirt on a hippo skirt on a hippo (laughs) yeah well it's gotta have some decency as well right (laughs) yeah yeah so you have donald you never know what's under the pants it's true yeah Yeah. (laughs) hippo hippo skirt (laughs) um so I also wanted to ask you about like some of the other things on the site. You've got some stuff that looks 2D. Mm-hmm. Uh do you do 3D? Do you do a lot of 3D for 2D or do you prefer to when you're doing 2D to just just to do it in 2D? Uh well, at Animate I've been doing a lot of uh 3D for 2D to make it look like it was like toon shaded. Mm-hmm. That's why right. I did that project just to play around with, but a lot of the stuff I've done has not been like characters, it's been objects and things to help other people with After Effects for files and stuff like that. But that was like fun just to like see what, what I could do in cinema. Because like most of the time this year I've just like played a lot with uh, Cinema 4D because I never used it properly. Mm-hmm. And then um, I was like if I had to try and, do an actual client project that I would be able to pull it off myself because I knew that Rickard hadn't really fail. played around with it. So, nope, <laughs> don't want to fail. Um, so, yeah, uh, a lot of the the, uh, the... the cat one that you're showing right now and the one that you're highlighted over, the mermaid. The cat one, the so motion. Good. The yeah. motion on that cat is incredible. Yeah. My fat it's cat. so good. fluid. Yeah. The yeah. Okay, so, okay, this... Uh, one where the person is laying on the table. That's 3D, right? That's 3D yeah. person. And yeah. what about this one, though, the wintertime? Is that 3D as well? That's it says 3D, 3D as well, 2D. yeah. <laughs> it I, literally I have, says um, it. Yeah. I have um, a video of it, like the wireframe, in case no one actually believes me. <laughs> <laughs> some because some people were like, no way. And I was like, yeah. They're like, prove it. I was like, here you go. It's easy. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Like, if you're doing 3D for 2D, it's a lot of times it's easy to tell and you're like, Oh, that wasn't done by hand. That's 3d and whatever that, yeah. You know, a lot of people are like, Oh, that's cheating. You know, what did you, but what did you use? The look this? of this, the look of this one, it just looks so 2d. What I did a, like I, I did a bit of, um, frame by frame, uh, like wash to put that like flickery effect on top. Uh-huh. But then mm. I used a lot of noises in my, um, uh, in the, the cell shader, so then it kind of didn't look clean. So right. I did a lot of like breaking a lot of things. I didn't yeah. really know what I was doing, but I was like, "What if I put it, this?" It in worked here? really well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Originally, it was spo- <clears throat> the hair was supposed to be better, but that didn't work either. So, and I used a few weird techniques that, like, just I I was like, I'm gonna do everything in cinema. So even the the jump the jumper thing i actually used a bit of um uh the cloth not the cloth the dynamics to mm-hmm. blow up the jumper so mm-hmm. i was like well everyone's been doing this cool technique so i'm gonna try it out and not do it for <laughs> just you know what everyone else is doing like a circle with like movements on it and right. but then i was like i'll actually use it for a character so yeah oh, it's rad all the movements are so good. Um, Tokyo Megaflex like, has an, another question, actually. Uh, any other cool character or other artists that inspire your work that, that you want to plug? Uh, and are you friends oh. with Joseph Melhuish from UK or Andrew? Yes, I know him. Or Naruto yeah. from <laughs> Australia? Or Naruto? I, well, I've never met that person. Australia's a big place, guys. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like the size nah. of New Jersey, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's not many people, but right. it's quite large. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're um, in the UK. You know Raid Zero, right? Yeah. Well, I still <laughs> haven't seen him over here. We were supposed <laughs> to have dinner, and he was going to buy me a meal. <laughs> uh, what's up with that, Phil? <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah. Phil. He's on the chat. <laughs> he's in there, right? I know he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> I got crap. Come on. Um, That's funny. 
Yeah, no, I I know like way too many people. Uh, I like go to a lot of meetups and stuff. That's In fact, there was two good. meetups tonight, but I am on this podcast right now. Oh, so. oh. sorry. Um, nah, well, sorry. you could still make them, right? It's only like what seven thirty. I think. Um, uh, yeah. What time? Seven thirty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Seven thirty. Yeah. My my computer is on. Australian time, so <laughs> yeah, you can still make <laughs> so it out it there. Six twenty-two a.m. I was like, "What?" <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I think Loop de Loop was starting at seven, so they start their screening around that time. But then um, the other one was <clears> starting <throat> at seven, but it's just drinks. So there's all Cinema Four D friends. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I've met so many people here just because of all the meetups that I've gone to, and also through work because a lot of people know. Um, heaps of people. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I went to like when I went to Blend, I met heaps of people over the other side of the world. Uh, obviously, know a lot of people back home. Mm-hmm. Um, the captain. <laughs> yeah, the captain. Yeah, <laughs> saw him. Um, I used to live around the corner from him, which is funny. I used <laughs> really? to see him on the weekends sometimes. Like, oh, That's hello. Funny. You don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, Australia's huge. You know, but you guys right. just but so he was around the corner. right next to each other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's funny. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, Melbourne's like the same size as London, but it's just got 3 million people. London has like 11.5 million people. So, Jeez. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tokyo also said, uh, I found character stuff, particularly rigging slash animation, uh, to be tricky in cinema. Curious for thoughts on that versus Maya or other apps. Uh, oh. what your workflow is for these days, professional and personal? Yeah, so I was kind of sad when I first moved from Maya to cinema because I found a lot. Of, like I'm still learning how to do a lot of the rigging that I did in Maya in Cinema 4D. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, I. I've kind of coped. It's a lot simple. A lot of things in uh, Cinema 40 are simpler, but things that annoy me are like the UV mapping and mm-hmm. the weight mapping <laughs> are horrible. But like uh, on the Slack channel, I've managed to get a bit of help with like nodes and stuff like that while I've been trying to do some rigging on um, this character's face that I've been working on because um, it has to do a lot of faces and I've done a lot of different blend shapes. but linking them up so then they could do exactly what I wanted them to do. Um, Sometimes takes a lot longer than I was thinking, but it's actually come out really well. Like I could have to like moving like bits on the face that like you can move the mouth smaller and bigger without Mm -hmm. having just to do sliders on their own. Um, Mm -hmm. That's cool. Things turn on and off. Like the knees uh, don't bend weirdly when they bend at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. so I've just learned all that. That was at first I was a bit worried when I first got into cinema from Maya because I was very heavily reliant on the node editor because um, I don't really know how to code properly. So mm-hmm. I tend to do just nodes. Um, but, uh, like, it's sometimes a bit laggy. My rigs are not exactly the most, uh, you know, what would you say? Um, not clean, but fast. There, okay. some things kind of mm. lag with like the parenting tags and stuff like that. They can kind of like not snap back in the way that I want. Yeah. Um, but like it's still usable. It renders out fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, well, when you animate a lot of characters in one scene, it gets a bit choppy. So I tend to mm. just do a lot of um. X refs and stuff like that, but yeah, it's been an easy transition considering I didn't use cinema up until this year. I've managed to work with it for a whole year. Are uh, you, uh, yeah. uh, when you're freelancing, are you freelancing cinema and Maya and hopefully, Max? yeah? Uh, no, I'm forgetting Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really good for modeling, like uh, doing box modeling things and it had a great layer stack, but animating in Max is horrible for yeah. me. Like when I, I, I started in Maya and then going into Max, I was just like, this is terrible. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just going to do Maya and cinema. That's cool. Um, hopefully Ma- not have to do too much after effects, but maybe. <laughs> 
Well, with the UV thing, Matt, were you were you going to mention I mean, I that was just, tweet? Yeah, I was just I was going to reference the the tweet by Dave mm-hmm. McGavran where he said, yeah. "You have been heard." Capital yeah. U, capital V. I have told them many times how bad yeah. it is. It's like, trust me, so you're not unusable. the only one. You're not the oh only one. Oh my god! Someone was trying to tell me, <laughs> but what do you mean? It's fine. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> not for what I need it for. It's like every time I want to just relax one little tiny bit, it just relaxes the whole bloody thing. I was like, mm-hmm. I just do it in Maya. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so sad. <laughs> So I also I wanted to open my up, but yeah. <laughs> wanted to open it up to questions as well. If anybody else has questions in the chats, if you could work cool. anywhere, where would it be? Uh, Buck, New York. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the, right. I would love to work there. That'd be amazing. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how I'd cope with the cold there. It's uh, it's cold here. I was going to say, isn't it there. cold there? <laughs> no, well, it doesn't snow. Well, it doesn't? apparently, well, it didn't snow this year, and apparently oh, last year it snowed a lot. But mm-hmm. I don't know. No one said anything about snowing this year coming, so I don't know. Does it snow in Melbourne? No, God no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never been to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never really seen snow. So does that say anything? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's too warm in Australia. Yeah. It's, it's the first like time a for couple everything. of mountains. You tried yeah. s'mores, so oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone today said s'mores. So it's Shmores. not just me. <laughs> that was a British Shmores. guy that said yeah. s'mores. S'mores. But he and actually knew what he was talking him. about then. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was like, oh no. I'm glad I could be there for your first s'more and for Phil's first s'more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that was Phil that was nice. not only had his first s'more, he's he had his first s'more on the same day that we had uh American Thanksgiving at camp. Oh yeah. Gosh, that Thanksgiving dinner was so good. I had never mm. had turkey before either. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the I, best turkey wow. you'll ever have in your life. So Yeah, that was a good just, one to have. You can just stop now. Can you bring that back for the next camp then? <laughs> We'll try. We can try. We'll try. We can try. Yeah. We'll fly. We should fly in their cooking staff their to the other. <laughs> Woo! That'd be great. And yeah, no offense to y'all, but we really liked this cooking staff. Right. <laughs> Guys, just not good enough. <laughs> <clears throat> what well, were some um, of your inspirations? Like, why? Inspiration? Why? What? What was it? What was it about animation and 3D that made you want to get into it? Oh, uh, so actually, originally, because I really love cartoons, like I'm Same obsessed. Here. Yeah. What's your favorite? Um, well, like as I was growing up, it was a lot of uh, like Digimon and Pokemon, okay. which are not the greatest animation styles. Yeah. But then obviously <laughs> Disney. Right. Uh, but it was about like Pokemon was the character design. I used to draw the characters like a million times. Mm-hmm. I used to mm-hmm. make my own Pokemon, my own Digimon. Uh, like I have so many drawings. Um, <laughs> there, there's some weird drawings. There's like meshed. Up. I remember because uh, I had to go. I went through a few of my uh, picture storybooks for um, uh, Nerdfest because I wanted to have some photos of old drawings. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the hell is going through my mind? Like, I drew like <laughs> this chicken with half a head on and like this dinosaur. Most of them are dinosaurs. Of course. Like, the dinosaur's like eating half of the head, just like ripping it off, and all this blood's like splatting <laughs> out. And the head's like, ah! Your poor parents, <laughs> what did they think? <laughs> well, I remember my mum asking me when I was, I, I think I was about maybe 16. Uh-huh. And she was like, because I, I think she was worried that maybe I wasn't I wasn't into guys or girls or anything, mm-hmm. but I was just obsessed with drawing dinosaurs, <laughs> and so she was quite weirded out that maybe I was like sexually attracted to dinosaurs or something. <laughs> firstly, she asked me about women, and I was like, "Yeah, I like women," mm-hmm. um, but then she's like, "Yeah, but do you love women?" I was like, I love women, I love you, so <laughs> I don't really remember exactly what I said, but my mom tells me this story all the time. But um yeah, I don't think I was really into like dating until I was out of high school anyway. But yeah, it's just like all I wanted to do was draw. I was just like, don't go out, I just wanna draw. 
and make something out of pipe cleaners, make something out of clay, make something like sewing machines and, and making stuff toys. Oh, just yeah. Everything was just stuff. <laughs> you do your own clothes too. Yeah, well, not not right now in in London because I don't have a sewing machine. But mm. I used to go op shopping a lot. I still do. Um, I buy everything secondhand, and then I just like try and make it fit me. That's cool. <laughs> My outfit the... is all secondhand. Woo. You had like a an Adventure Time or like Lady Rainicorn outfit that you made, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, super I, awesome. yeah. I've got um. I, I have a lot of clothes that I wear that I've uh, made myself. They've got terrible stitching, and if I, like, move too much, maybe it might <laughs> open up. And uh, Usually I try and wear shorts under those dresses, but oh, just in case. <laughs> Where did you even find the Adventure Time fabric? Uh, well, actually, <clears throat> just, like, online, I think. Um, so I don't know if you guys have Spotlight. Spotlight mm -hmm. um, is an Australian brand, but they sell mm. all kinds of, like, fabric. And that was, like, my pastime of just go into Spotlight and go, ooh, maybe one meter of this fabric. Ooh, maybe I'll get this glitter. Ooh, maybe I'll buy some of this, buy some of that. Some paint, some nail polish, some curtain rails, who knows, everything weird and wonderful creatively there. Um, yeah, I don't know the equivalent in America, so you neither do I know the yeah. 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 I I miss having a sewing machine. Uh, yeah. I also need a desk to have a sewing machine, but I don't have that <laughs> either. So I don't have a wardrobe either. So it's like, oh, what? Why I? I've got a bed and two shelves. I sleep on two wooden planks. I got a brick for a <laughs> pillow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's an old reference. Yeah, it wow. is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, hopefully that freelance life is going to get you some of that, that sweet, sweet yeah. sewing machine money. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Firstly, I'm going to buy a new phone, because when that got stolen from me by some idiot on a bike in London. Really? Um, yeah. I, it got stolen. I, my, I was holding my purse and mm -hmm. my phone in my hand while I was waiting for the bus. It was like about 9 o'clock at night, and I had just came back from a meetup. And I said goodbye to one of my friends. I was like, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. And then I just like went to the bus stop, was just sitting there. I mean, standing there like against the wall. And then this, these two guys on a bike like came up on the footpath. And I was like, oh, they must be like driving to their house. And then they were just like, no, nope, she's staring right, right at me. And uh, they just took it out right out of my hands. And I was like, ah, shit, like that's my, <laughs> my credit card, my – my, oh my driver's gosh. license, my phone, I had nothing. And I was like, oh, lucky I had my keys in my pocket. But Jeez. Um, Yeah, seriously. Yeah. People then are I the had to, worst. Yeah. I know. And I didn't have much money in my account, so all I could afford was this Nokia phone. Look, guys, it's a Nokia. <laughs> old school. But it <laughs> is is it, like, hopefully it's as durable as the old Nokia's. No, it's, uh, sorry, Nokia, you didn't do for very well on this one. Um, oh. I've had it for like... What, like, not even six months, and it's already playing up. And I've always, always, like, had a, a phone for, like, four years, and this one is, like, already, like, freezing, doesn't recognize my fingerprint anymore, and just, like, I like it obviously doesn't have enough RAM because, like, if I go into another program, it just, like, restarts every other program. It's just like, oh, oh trying to do geez. internet banking is so hard. Um, so, yeah, I have regrets. A hundred and 30 pounds off Amazon. Not not a very good quality phone. <laughs> Needs a bad <laughs> review. One star review. <laughs> well, it had a really good reviews for a budget phone. And I was like, well, it's not the cheapest, but it's not the expensive mm -hmm. one. I wanted a Pixel, which was 350 pounds, but I just didn't have that money. And I was like, ah, now I regret it. I should have just saved mm -hmm. for another mm -hmm. month and then just been without a phone for a month, but then I also had sick rest, so I needed a phone for that. Yeah. 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 So that are sucks. you going to do any sort of, uh, any sort of independent shorts or anything yeah. like that coming up? I hope so. Um, I wanted to do a, a little animation for going freelance, but I haven't had any time since I got back from Australia. That's a good, this. that's a good problem to have. Yeah, mm -hmm. I well, the good thing is I've been I I have 
done my website and I've worked on some contracts and cool. um, like I, I think I'm ready. I've got my email template ready to like email to all the <laughs> places that I want to work at. So you read the, free man- the freelance manifesto? Yeah. yeah, I've got that book. It's right next to my bed. I haven't read the whole thing though. I'm it's very an easy, slow it's an easy read. It's an easy read. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> yes. And I've got so much like support from a lot of people, especially in the MoGraph Slack yeah. and just people in general in, in London. They're just so friendly. Um, it's fantastic. Except for those people who steal your phone. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. talking about the, the MoGraph guys, people. Oh, the the, Mo-Graph. Those people can die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them, sadly. <laughs> uh, I had a few friends that it's happened to them, and I was like, oh, my God, they're everywhere. Yeah. Now I'm, like, paranoid. I never take my phone out when it's dark, which is, like, at 4 p.m., but, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah. It's, getting, it's, it's like pitch black outside. I don't just, oh. Yeah. <clears throat> nice so, in summer, though. I think it's going to be really fun to, uh, to do the Beeple's People segment with you today. <laughs> I think you're going to have some interesting things to say. Uh, real quick, though, I just wanted to throw out three really quick links. Number one is Sakani came out with a yes. Star Wars short, and yeah. I was waiting for that because he he actually told me that that's what he was doing and that he would come on the show sometime after that release to talk about it. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, So that'll probably be January, February. Uh, So I'll put a link to that in the show notes. You can check that out. So good. And then uh, there's a video. uh, Chris Doe answers tough questions from people. (laughs) Heated, heated debate. You got to check that out. And then lastly, um, Maxon just came out with their, their holiday Christmas card today. Yeah. The Christmas card is really good. It's very, very good. Was that the animation thing? Yeah, uh, yeah it was up. the the, the yeah. elves and the the Santa and the truck and stuff like that. I, yeah, did I you see that, the, be- yeah. the the behind the scenes thing? Like when no. he was talking about how he rigged the characters, he did it what he called marionette style, where basically oh. the arms and legs weren't actually attached to the body, so you didn't have oh. to deal with any mm. of the deformations whenever you were dealing with the the arms moving and the legs moving and stuff. It's mm. pretty cool. That's all the stuff I've been trying to do on my rig at the moment. It's mm-hmm. trying to like rig up the automatic like fixes of the shoulders, yeah, and the knees and stuff. Have, have you messed with EJ's bendy limbs at all? I was about to ask that. Yeah, I I have it on my computer. I just haven't tried it. I haven't had a chance. I a lot of my characters, their limbs are connected to their bodies. Yeah. Um. So I have to like make a character that has detachable limbs. It doesn't See what that happens. It doesn't have to have detachable limbs or bendy limbs. Well, they have to at least be kind of like not on well they 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 kind of go in the Right, mesh. right, right, right. But right. most of yeah. I always model everything together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. A very like ooh, visual. Sorry, no. everyone. <laughs> like Spotify and iTunes. <laughs> Um, let's <clears throat> let's go to Beeple's people. Beeple's people, where do you think Beeple's people, what's up with that guy? Let's do it. I, I am very excited to bring these up. If you bring up your Beeple viewer of choice, I'm using Twitter. This is going to be December 5th, Year of Our Lord 2019. My and... dog's birthday, by the way, December fifth. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say December thirteenth. He called it in. He just he just called it in that day. December thirteenth. Yeah. What what was that one? That was the uh, Boris Johnson one <laughs> with the monkeys. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. Yeah. yeah. All gorillas. Yeah, he phoned it in. I just that one, empty that fridge. Empty <laughs> fridge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there we go. That I is, feel like you could have done more on that one. Uh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. Okay, let's go Do you think the, to, the hmm? black bit is connected to the head, or is that part of the, the monkey? I think oh, that man, is... that's a good question. <laughs> oh. is, it, is it half a... I think it's connected to the head, and like the monkeys, <laughs> they come out of the head. It'd be funny if that were actually just half a gorilla with an inner tube, because he doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> 
Anyway, <laughs> December 5th is called Stray Baby Yodas. Ha! He yep. got a little Yoda kick here. Yeah. Oh, Sounds I did. Good. Do you see the uh do you see the uh the hidden uh the hidden hot pocket? No. I wanted it? to oh, ask yes. what the hell is a yeah. hot pocket? You don't know what a oh, hot man. pocket is? I don't know what it is. Oh. I actually asked him but he never replied. <laughs> Dave, look up a hot pocket so she can see what a hot pocket is. A hot yeah. pocket, it's like a calzone. You know what a calzone oh. is? Yeah, that's like an Italian thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a it's it's a really shitty calzone, oh. right? And they sell them and they're super cheap. You can buy like uh, basically you throw them in the microwave. They're horribly horribly frozen, <laughs> right? You throw them oh. in the microwave. And you cook them for like three minutes or a minute or something like that. And they're always like, uh, uh, it, they're super duper hot when you bite into them. And then the center is freezing cold. Oh. They're, you they're burn the your worst. Mouth. So it's like a kind of like a, a sausage roll, but not a sausage roll. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Then why do they call it a hot pocket if it's cold in the middle? Because because well, well it's supposed to be it's hot. It's supposed to be. Uh, it's microwave <laughs> lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, uh, there's a a comedian called uh, named uh, Jim Gaffigan who does a really good uh, routine about hot pockets. I'll have to look it up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. A hot pocket is a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, the debate. <laughs> yes. It, a hot pocket a is a sandwich. It's not a burrito? No, because it depends if you're basing things off of Mexican food or if you're basing things off of the sandwich salad model. Hmm. <laughs> like, see, I, li- I like to go with the burrito taco uh, uh, tostada model. Mm. More yeah. like a snot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chlorophyll. Yeah. More like borophyll. Jess, w- Jess will send you a box of hot pockets. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Best present ever. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about uh what is it? Stray baby Yodas. Cuz there's a lot of little hidden things besides the besides the hot pocket, but the hot pocket isn't in a hot pocket case. It's like a canister that says yeah. hot pockets. Yeah. Have we evolved Close enough? I don't know. There's also the Disney Plus thing, you know. There's a Google Disney in Plus the background. Thing. Yeah, I like, think Google. Why is Google in this? That in this and then though? there's that, like the 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 bad masking part that he did at the bottom left corner. What? Where he just duplicated? Oh, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't <laughs> see it because it's a tiny picture on my screen, and I'm too scared to touch anything on my computer. That's just that's just uh, <laughs> a, a Matt. Whenever you see that, a wizard did it. <clears throat> whenever I saw something the other day on Reddit where someone was, oh, what was it? It was. It was like someone from The Simpsons or something like that was doing an AMA, and someone asked oh, yeah. a, a, a question about, like, they were holding a microphone and said, in one scene, he has four fingers, and then the next scene, he has <laughs> five. And I was like, and, and sure enough, you scroll down, and it says, whenever something like that happens, a wizard did a it. A wizard did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know why Yoda is a machine. And eating babies, but well, but because you know, Baby Yoda eats frogs, so it's I was obviously say, it's it's everything. Baby Yoda in the the first few shows looks a bit like it's like a hand puppet robot kind of thing, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't I tell can it. That. It almost looks like when they're handling Yoda, th- mm-hmm. Baby Yoda, like they're trying to be very careful and go really slow because they they told them to do that because the VFX person is really going to have a hard time. I think I think they're actually <laughs> using puppets on most of it. I thought it was puppet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like, they're the using eyes puppets don't even on on close properly. Yeah, on most of it. Yeah. But when they Some of it, when they yeah. move it, but I feel like when they go to a close up then it's not a puppet, yeah. right? No, baby Yoda's a puppet. It's yeah. fully puppet. I, I don't Are know if sure? all of it is a puppet. I'm pretty sure it's hmm. mostly a puppet. They just look like they're trying well, really like hard not to screw it up. You know, oh, like the, there's a prop person who's been working on it. They're like, okay, make sure that you don't tip them or it'll explode. You know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, and they look like they're trying so hard not to screw it up. They're like, guys, if you drop this thing, like it costs $1 million. So don't right. drop this thing. Yeah. So they're like, yeah. Uh, uh. 
Maybe anyway. they're just trying to pretend it has weight to it when in fact it's it's literally yeah. just like foam, you know. Yeah. Maybe. All right, let's go to the next one, December 6th. This is called Meathead. Yep. Oh, there's meat. Yep. Yeah. Donald, Donald Trump with a hamburger dinner. head. Yep. Yeah. Meat coming out of his oh, head. Oh, look, it's the Republican a Party. <laughs> a big a big tweet on top of him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see, didn't see, I see. That. yeah, yeah. Notice that the Twitter bird is taking a poo on his head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can just see that. Ooh. And then you see surrounding him is Mitch McConnell and Devin Nunes and... Uh, 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 I see what you did there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Where I, I see going. what you did there. They're picked. Yep. Um, now, what is this? There's something else in the middle here. What is, that is this? Skull? I think it's a skull. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brain. Right. I gotta say, that, that's a good looking 3D cheeseburger. Hamburger. It, make, it yeah. makes me hungry. <laughs> I haven't Actually, had dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Go get a snack. Come on, we can snack yeah. while we're while oh, we're, we're talking. We're, well, it almost means I done. have to leave the room for a oh, few we're almost seconds. Done. <laughs> Did you you notice that the lettuce is going through his eyeballs? <laughs> oh, really? And, and he's crying milk oh, or sure. something. Weird. Ah. Yeah, this yeah. is very interesting. I'm not going to pretend it's a political statement because you never know yeah. what it's what what it means. What does it mean? <laughs> um. The last one is December 11th, Dust to Dust. Where is December 11th? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, this so one is like, great. Oh, the, There's the, a whole story behind it. I, I figured you would have a good, you could tell this whole Instagram I totally story forgot thing. what it was. I forgot what it but was. It was about him not going to the bathroom. Oh. Remember? I totally forgot. Yeah, I know he posted a story or something on... Uh, on Instagram about this. Oh, that's right. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, yeah. He said, he said, you want to know how to make, uh, uh, you want to know the secret to doing every days for twelve years straight? I, I don't ever poop. He said, he, he yeah. said he doesn't ever poop. So Beeple <gasps> oh, for twelve years has not pooped even once. Right. So he takes well, that that's time what he said. that he would normally, you know, the time that he would normally poop, and he uh, uh, makes a daily, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I, this is what happens when you don't poop for 12 years. I mm-hmm. want to say, like, throw my friend under the bus, um, Dev from work. Uh, <laughs> he told me that when he was younger, he didn't poo for, like, months. <laughs> and his mom was that. like, why don't, I never see you go to poo. And then he, all of a sudden, he blames his mom for saying, why don't you poo all, all the time? And now he poos every day. But he said before that he would go, like, Four months without pooing. Man, I don't believe yeah. it. I, so, yeah. I, if I had three wishes, if a genie came down and said, "You have three wishes," mm-hmm. my first wish would be, uh, uh, any pair of pants I wore, anytime I reached into the pockets, I would pull money out. Right. Ooh, nice. Number two okay. would be to live forever, basically control death. Right. And the okay. third would be to never poop again. I right. never have to use the bathroom. It's usually having to pee all the time is my problem. Yeah, I got to go right now. <laughs> right? Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, cl- we're we're close to the end. We're close to the end. All no, we I got don't left want it is, to end. I don't yeah, want got, to wish it end. It's been almost two hours here. <clears throat> so, oh. uh, we're going to do MoGraph Recommends. I don't know if you prepped any answers to this or not, but... Uh, eh, I'll just make it up. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to go through some of your favorites. Now, I'll preface this by saying when we ask these questions, it doesn't have to be your all-time favorite per se. It can be a recent favorite, if you would like, you know. Um, so, oh, what did, uh, what did Fried Pixels put in there? Despite everyone having fallen in love with the puppet, Baby Yoda, who is officially known in the series as the child, was nearly a purely CGI purely. creation. Really? They yep. did pretty convincing uh, puppet then. <laughs> huh. Was okay. nearly a purely CGI. I'm telling you, when like, they're carrying was... him, he it's. it's I'm they're pretty carrying sure the, it's a puppet. Prop. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to research. Live, this. live. Is baby Yoda a puppet? Anyway, let's go to let's go to MoGraph recommends, and we'll start on that while Matt's researching. <laughs> so tell us what your favorite movie is. Uh. So I, because I love 
animations, I gotta admit, Zootopia is like one of my so favorite good. movies. Like the so character good. design, the animation, the storyline, the scenes, it's just so beautiful. Like I, I love a lot of the Disney and Pixar movies, but uh, yeah, that one was one of my favorites. I uh, bet I their love- hippo danced without any issues. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but then imagine how many people actually worked on the hippo. True. Oh, I always think about that. I was like, I'm just one person, and then they probably got like seven people like working on this one character. Oh, I I've read like the the um the book like with all the initial sketches and all that. Oh, stuff. really? So beautiful. Yeah. Oh God. Ah, oh, just thinking about it. So nice. <laughs> I wish I was that talented. Oh God. Two technicians operate the Baby Yoda puppet on set. One was for the eyes and the mouth, and the other one was for the facial expression. It's a phenomenal technological achievement, but beyond the technological achievements, it's heartbreaking. Because it's so Hmm. cute. All right. There you go. Um, How about music? I'm really interested to see what kind of music you like. (laughs) Well, I actually really like... Well, it's funny because... I did the Spotify uh, like year thing because uh-huh. yeah. I was like, oh, I want to be involved with this. Uh, apparently, I listen to metalcore <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I, really? I was just calling it Screamo. But, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I listen to a lot of like Australian, a few, hmm. a few international bands, but mostly Australian bands like um, North. Oh, Lane. like Men at Work and Silverchair. <laughs> I right. like silver chair. Old school. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like a whole bunch of like real uh, metalcore um, bands uh, of like the who were big in the past few years actually redid a whole album of silver chair songs. Really? So more, yeah. Actually, really enjoyed that album. You should send it to me. I'll listen to that. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, quite a few of uh, my favorite artists in there. I tend to like the smaller bands because they're cheaper to see. Right. <laughs> um, and easier to get tickets because uh-huh. trying to get tickets, especially in Australia, like you don't get um, too many bands that come mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. to Australia. But over here, there's so many. Um, actually, my favorite, uh, well, it was my most played uh, artist North Lane um, actually was playing in London about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I had no idea until I saw on uh, Spotify. And I was like, well, it's too late. I can't buy tickets. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I like uh, also like uh, some old school, like Bring Me the Horizon. Um, I think Era is from America. I don't know where, but they're like a big band that I like listening to. Big, big fan. Um, and is that what you listen to while you're working, or do you listen to nothing? I actually or... listen. I listen to uh, news podcasts, and I've been listening to your podcast oh. ever since I met you guys. Sweet. I'm slowly going through all 200 of them. Oh, oh gosh! Man. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear the, like early days, early days. Yeah, listen, um, listen to episode, episode one. Episode. It's like, I <laughs> yeah, I have like this, and I'm really yeah, I know. Like I was like, what like happened to your voice? Stuff? You know. <laughs> I think it's the first because time... it's because we were doing it at night for like uh, probably like yeah. the first year it was Sunday night and so Late. like my wife and kid were asleep live. and I didn't want to mm. yeah I didn't want to wake them up. <laughs> well, and I was like, I, what's I this artist's name? Like... Bleeple? 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I I thought you were like trying to like I don't know be cool or something, and then all of a sudden you're just like, ah, screw this, I'm gonna be myself now. Nah. <laughs> No. I'm trying to be NPR. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hi. the yeah. Mobile Welcome Rat to the Mobile Podcast. podcast. Uh, today we'll be talking to uh, this week's Herrera sponsor Source. is. Uh, I'm really glad you didn't put my posture beating beds. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's always a mattress, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we we uh, we didn't talk about we went and saw Maddie in this week. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, those visuals were spectacular. Oh, so, yeah, they were. And you know what? I figured out, it's so funny because I was on Reddit the other day. Sorry, Jessica, we totally interrupted you. Right. Well, I have no idea what's going right. on. <laughs> but uh, 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 but uh, someone had posted the the Maddie on vis- visuals, you know, and said, how do you do this? You know, because we were talking about like the weird color rainbowy stuff. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it, You take a, a black and white image and you put colorama 
in After Effects and just change the phase. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, um, um, I was going to tell you. So, uh, okay, so the opening band was some band called like Elo Elo or something like that. Yeah, and they, they kept were playing on, other people's music. I don't know. Oh, they kept uh, they kept flashing up this phone number. Oh, and I yeah. was like, I was like, all right, I'm going to, I'm I'm going to, uh, these visuals are bad. I'm going to text them, you know, mm-hmm. or, that's what I thought the, uh, the, the thing was, I was like, okay, this is either like a joke on someone that they know, you know, to like, Hey, mm-hmm. text this number or something. So yeah. I was like, I'm going to text it. I'm so, I, so I texted, I said, yo, let us do some concert visuals for you. And I put nexusmotion.com, you know? And so what it was, was just a response. Like they would send you a link to their new song on Spotify. But then, Dave, I didn't tell you this. Friday, mm. they text messaged me back and said, hey, thanks for sending your work. Looks dope. Email us. And they gave me their email what? address. Yeah, no, isn't that crazy? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I just, I felt like, <clears throat> I, I, okay, here's the thing. First of all, vaporware in early 80s, everything is coming back with this design Maddie stuff. Maddie's visuals were awesome. I loved it. They were awesome. Like, and they were that really was good. good. That was done very well, and it worked with the music mm-hmm. so well. You know, it's stuff the, that is not necessarily hard to do. It's no, just that it it was, it it was a lot of simple, like you know, yes, uh, uh, a 3D character just moving a little bit with some marvelous designer. So you get the the yeah. you know the movement of the the clothing and stuff. And it works, and that's so really well. all it was. But like the way he, uh, they also had him framed. You know, like he was yes. in the center between like two little things and like huge LED it, wall behind yeah. him. So like there were parts where people were singing like chorus or like like a chorus or something. And so they would put multiple people behind him to make it look like there was this big chorus of people singing. It was very cool. It was very, and then very it would cool. go black and then like the lights in front of him would would turn on. And so mm-hmm. it felt very layered. <laughs> the other band, though, they were just using footage. And I'm like, Your yeah, songs and they are didn't not... even blow up the stuff to like the full size of the screen. It well, like, that's on purpose. That's why? because you because you don't want to upstage the the main act. Boo! You this always is true. yeah. Boo! This is true. Burns. But, but the the whole their, thing with their visuals their, is their they visuals were not weren't good enough in order to upstage anything. It was a bunch of footage with a bunch of glitch filters on them. It's just and a the phone footage number didn't eight hundred times. It I'm actually match. surprised they had uh, visuals because yeah. usually yeah, I yeah. find they never have visuals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they're probably just, like, just lucky they did. Yeah. If you're listening to a band that is playing EDM, you want to see you want to see more like trippy, like graphic-y <laughs> things yeah. and not v- videos that look like they're people's Instagram at the beach. Yeah, or it taken from feel... Pond 5, you know, pretty girl yeah. at the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks Picks like. Picks up phone that was connected to a chair, yes. which is what it was. Which, I don't know. They were going for know. deep. I don't know. That's the thing. When you're yeah. when you're 24 years old, you think that a rotary telephone's edgy. The so, music was the, good. The music was good. I enjoyed it. I've actually listened was great. to them a couple of times since. You know, mm-hmm. so I just feel like those visuals need to match the sound. I agree. They didn't feel like I they agree. matched the sound. Anyway, yeah. we'll get anyway. back to your thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it was kind of similar subject. We're talking yeah. about music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about TV shows? What are you watching besides mm-hmm. Mandalorian? Uh, I've been watching uh, Dark Materials. That's really I don't know awesome. that one. It's like kind of like um, well, there's I like it because of all the animals. Uh, it's about you know the Golden Compass, uh, the books. Yes, that sounds familiar. Um, oh, there there was a really shitty movie, but um, yes, I've I've seen yeah. the shitty movie. <laughs> The it, I don't know if it's like his dark materials or dark materials. I can't remember the exact his name. dark materials is yeah that one. Yeah, 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 it is really good and surprisingly the uh, animals look really awesome because they talk oh, yeah? and everything. Um, I've been watching that. Um, also Rick and Morty. Yeah, of course, uh, obviously. Yeah, Are, gotta watch do that. You guys, do you all have you get the uh, new ones season four yet? Uh, I have my sources. Okay, have you seen the newest episode? <laughs> Um, I saw the last one I saw was the dragon one. Okay, um, that was pretty my good. friend. My friend uh, downloads them for me. Yeah, I actually have no internet in my house, so that um, sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to fix that for your freelance work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, um, right now we have absolutely zero, zero internet. It was before it was like point six something. 
Oh. Or something. It was terrible. Like I couldn't watch and any you, Netflix. Are you paying for it? Uh, I pay a lump sum. Of See, they should, they just, should, yeah. they should. Oh, uh, like through your lease or something? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, I you pay. You should not pay um, that part. Say, I'm not paying <laughs> yeah. for this because I don't have it. Because it's well, zero. I, right. I live with my landlord, so it's just oh. her and I, and she oh, no. <laughs> doesn't really use the internet. Um, hey, uh, yeah. you get some internet? Maybe, maybe just a little bit of internet? <laughs> oh, trust me, I, I've been asking for three months. Oh, uh, you haven't had internet for three months? No, I've been using my phone. Oh data. my gosh! <laughs> oh man! But yeah, I you have friends get that who download out. me all these videos, so it's great. You need to move. All right. Yeah. I just gotta say, you gotta move. I will. I will. Yeah. Get that uh, the, sweet freelance dough, and then get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the Rick and Morty that was last night was really good. I I really oh, enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. The I thought snakes it was good. one. Ooh. The yeah. snakes one. It's so it was so watch. good. I have really yeah. enjoyed this season. I thought this season was is is pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. Oh man, the toilet one was like something. It was very <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. With like Bernard from Westworld. <laughs> Could you imagine oh. like having your own world where you just like that's that's where you go? You know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe if I had one of those, that wouldn't be one of my wishes to never poop again. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, would just want just that world. There. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like I'm, Elon Tusk as well. The cool. Elon Tusk, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Is that him?" It was like, "Yeah, it is him. It's his voice." Yeah, it's awesome. He's been yeah. on a bunch of shows. I think, like, he he seems to like doing cameos. You know. <laughs> now yeah. we we kind of talked about this, but what about podcasts? Oh, um. So I listened to, well, obviously you guys. I started listening to you guys when I met you at SIGGRAPH because I was like, who are these guys? And then <laughs> most I started people, listening. That's what actually, most people yeah. say. Yeah. And now that I actually know who half the people you're talking about, it's more enjoyable. <laughs> and I good, start yeah. laughing right. and people are like, what are you laughing at? I was like, oh, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't yeah. get it. <laughs> you're, not a, you're not in the know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I listened to, uh, like, other MoGraph podcasts like Motion Hatch and mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. Uh, Pro Video Podcast. And yeah, I love myself some Pro Video. You were on there just a few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, I, I listened was. to that one. Yeah, t- we. Oh God, <laughs> was that okay? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. Um, that was when I did have internet in my house. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then I also I listened to. Um, so I'm really into the news. So I listened to the BBC here and. The ABC back home. Mm-hmm. So I listen to, there's a lot of different podcasts on the ABC Listen app. Mm-hmm. And I listen to like the uh, 8 a.m. news, which is not actually 8 a.m. for right. me. But um, <laughs> then I listen to uh, something called The Signal, which usually talks about one topic in particular, like today's, oh no, wait, it wasn't on today, but last week there was like, Stuff about global warming and certain little bits like the, the bushfires in Australia. Yeah. Literally. Right now, half of Australia is on fire. Yep. Like, yeah. Every day. It's like a joke now. Everyone's like, oh, Jess, how many uh, states are on fire today? It's like four states today. Four states. Out of Plus, how many states? Uh, I don't want to get this wrong, but there's not that. <laughs> not like America. <laughs> so. Well, okay. it was Queensland, New South Wales, Western Australia, and South, uh, was it Northern Territory or South Australia? I don't remember. But then there's also ACT, Tasmania, and Victoria. So okay. there's not that many. I know okay. Tasmania from yeah. the Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah from the, the show, right? <laughs> Tazzy Devil. Yeah. 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 It doesn't didn't look like ever, one, though. Didn't you ever, uh, did you ever, how old are you? <laughs> uh, I'm 27. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, because he's referencing an old show, Tasmania. I, I, you know yeah. Tasmania? Oh. Do you know Tasmania? No, not the show. Exactly, yeah. No, yeah, sorry. so there was like a, there was a, a show. Uh, did you ever see uh, Tiny Toon Adventures? Oh, man. That I was, never watched the Tasmania show. I just see, watched I did. the old Looney Tunes. with. Well, to Tasmania. be honest, when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to watch kids' TV. Unless really? Unless it was the weekend or at my oh, grandma's man. house. Yeah, I had to watch the news, so that's probably why I'm addicted to listening to news podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I want to know what's going on in the world. I haven't seen my daily news. Um, it's yeah. funny. It's always really interesting. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, my God, guys, did you hear about this? And then they were like, what? And I'm like, oh, don't listen to the news. <laughs> yeah. 
And then and then I I found out that I could vote over here, so I voted yeah. uh, last week. Uh, hmm. uh, I voted for Labor, and they didn't win. So yeah, I was like, well, yeah. I tried. I was just one, I was, my one vote counted. I I that was that one like I I kind of follow. Uh, you know uk politics a little bit because i feel like i don't know anyway i i I was very hurt by that one you know yeah so was i and like half the people at my work can't even vote because they're uh, from europe Uh uh-huh and i just find it funny that i can stay here for two years yeah as a a commonwealth citizen Uh i can vote but I don't. I haven't lived here for like ten years, like some of my other friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and they were just like, "Please vote for us." I was like, "Of course I will." I'm trying to get all my Australian <laughs> friends to vote too. Yeah. Um. I uh, I I was talking to my brother the other day. My I have two younger brothers. I text messaged my youngest brother and I said, "Are you registered to vote?" He goes, "I'm twenty something years old. Of course I'm registered to vote." And I was like, I don't say that because I guarantee you I'll text my other brother who's over 30 and he's not registered to vote. <laughs> sure enough, he was not registered to vote. Uh, no. Mm. Well, in Australia, it's legal and you have to vote. <clears throat> and so people just, well, sometimes they just draw a massive penis on it. And they vote, <laughs> you have to vote? Still, you have to vote. Yeah. Oh, see, I wish that was the case. Really? If we could get, if we could get, honestly, if people were forced to vote, you know. Yeah, it'd be a lot different. Yeah, it our, yeah. our yeah. whole same our, in the UK. It's like I, I bet you all the people who didn't, who were going, ah, oh, you know, vote for Labour. They never actually went to the voting polls, and then half the people who are like, ah, oh, Brexit, and then, yeah, right. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, next anyway, one on the politics. list. <laughs> uh, favorite Welcome to plug-in. the uh, news podcast with right. uh, Jessica Herrera, sponsored by Casper um, Mattresses. Yeah. I actually don't really use that many plugins um, in, well, Cinema 4D, that mm-hmm. is. But um, in Maya, I used to use like uh, Animator's Toolkit, which was awesome. Cool. But half the people mm-hmm. on the, that listen to this podcast don't use Maya. So, um, yeah, I, I think the only plugin that I have are the render, um, like, you know, Octane mm-hmm. and yeah. uh Magic solo. That's the only thing I have because oh, yeah. I got sick of the solo button yeah. in R twenty. So twenty one is nice. R twenty one. Yeah, twenty one yeah. is nice. Yeah, I solo stuff. Have uh, a, I have a legit version mm. of R twenty, but that means that I would have to pay for R twenty one. So I'm yeah. just like, oh, I'm gonna try and hang on to this free version for a while. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And what about have headphones? You, hold on, real oh, quick. Have sorry. you have you tried out Delta Mush? For, uh, oh, yeah, for cinema. Yeah. What's that? It's uh so basically if you've got a if someone hands you a rig and it's a terrible rig or something like that, you can put Delta Mush on it and it'll help smooth out a lot helps of the helps a lot. The, the, Help my hippo stuff. big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. My hippo wouldn't have worked without Delta Mush. Yeah. Is yeah. The, you'll have to send me a link to that. I'm, I'm to. pretty oblivious to uh, a lot of the Cinema 4D character plugins because I guess no one really talks about them. But I hear like people obviously using like other things like uh I just sent it to you on Slack. And... Oh thank so, you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's free too. Weights so and it's great. free. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've used uh Real Flow for Cinema 4D here mm-hmm. at Animate before. Um but nothing else plugin related to Cinema 4D. Because I just use uh like I've used um like soul programs like uh, marvelous designer mm-hmm. or ZBrush, yeah, substance, exactly. yeah. but not plugins. So <laughs> I've kind of gone around that, like at SIGGRAPH, they're like, any plugins that you use? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite type of person because I'm the one who has to install them all, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. <clears throat> I have a lot in uh, After Effects though, like, yeah, but with After Effects, like, you kind of have to have a lot of them, yes, you yeah. do, yes, yeah. But I don't. I used to do a lot of character animations in After Effects. I don't do that so much anymore. Mm-hmm. Like in the last two years, I have I have tried very hard not to touch it. Um, but I can't animate characters in After Effects. Shouldn't but, have said that. Now people are gonna. Oh, well, anime right. found out about it and they started putting me on two uh, D stuff, and then uh, I at my 
review, I was like, I wasn't hired for this. How did you know that I could even use After Effects? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't have anywhere, anywhere on my website, on my showreel, mm-hmm. on my Instagram. I got rid of all my After Effects stuff. Um, mm-hmm. And yet they still were like, but you're really good at it, Jess. You, we need you on this project. I was like, oh, my God, no. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the, if going gets tough, you know, never know. Yeah. <laughs> now, how about yeah. headphones? you have a favorite pair of headphones? Uh, so, oh, uh, I have a pair of Cinema 4D <laughs> Ooh. headphones. Yeah. It's top of the line right there. Yeah. <laughs> I had um, a pair of good uh, bud earphones that I got off Amazon. Um, I wouldn't say they were great, but uh, they broke on the plane on the way to Camp Mograph, and I was oh. so upset. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, Matthias gave me two pairs of these earphones. So it's great. <laughs> but yeah, these are mine. Um, the Sony's, yeah, the Sony is Sony. Sony um, yeah. But <clears throat> apart from that, like I know people have. I, I've always wanted both. Um, Quite comfort 35s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and have like some wireless. Like, I love these kind of headphones that go over your ear. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, these are actually my work ones, but the, the, I have a pair of these at home that have no, noise counseling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but not the same as like I've tried the Bose ones. It was like, whoa. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Compared uh, to even would, Sony, you know? Man, I would love them. But yeah, I also have never purchased. Um, any of that kind of stuff. Um, I wish I could. Uh, but, Once you uh, hit that yeah. freelance life. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, mm-hmm. I have a few things on my list. Um, We're, I did we'll have you back on the on show a year either. from now, and you'll be like super baller with like gold rings yeah, and like yeah. gold out. chains yeah, and yeah. stuff. You I'll know? have a fake <laughs> tooth that's gold too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. <clears throat> two more questions. Uh, what is on your Nokia phone? What is your favorite <laughs> app? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I have a really awesome app that I don't know if anyone knows about it. So I love um, comics. Um, mm-hmm. And there's like this comic uh, like app called Webtoons. Um, hmm. And it's like all indie artists that write stories. And some of them are terrible, some of them are great. Uh, but I've been hooked on that thing ever since, I don't know, three years ago. And I've spent countless hours on that app. Is it Webtoon? Yeah, Webtoon, yeah. It's like a green little pop-up. Uh, well, I've got it on my yeah, home yeah, page yeah. on my yeah. phone. Yeah, Webtoon. Um, yeah, uh, Webtoon. Uh, yep. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, it's awesome. I have so many uh, comics that I follow, uh, all different kinds of stories. Uh, they have funny ones. Actually, quite a few people, um, the artists are on Instagram that I follow too. They mm-hmm. give out um, little sneak peeks to the next episode. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you, uh, do you follow Nathan Pyle? Mm, don't know who that is. He does, well, I'm uh, really bad with names, but if he, I remember he does, uh, the what picture. is it? Strange, strange planet. Do you know that one? I might actually know, but I, it's not ringing a bell right it's now. It's with the little alien dudes. Oh, you know? those guys! Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have their webtoons as well. Yeah. So yeah. there's those kind of comics, and then there's like full on story comic. Uh, Fantasy comics, there's even uh, saucy comics if you want to go ones. down the, um, you know, <laughs> bit raunchy. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on one and I was like, oh my god. And now you're getting <laughs> And you're like, well, ads. this is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, it, like, it, it, uh, it was on my old phone, so it's now gone away from my, like, history. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be known for accidentally clicking on that one. <laughs> That's funny. You're like, oh, you're into boy love, are you? Ooh. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like, I didn't know what it was. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, really awesome app. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with anything useful, but it wastes my time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what yeah. about, this is the tough one. What is your favorite life hack? 
Um, so I thought about this one because you always mention the, mm-hmm. the toaster thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have. I, I can't do it right now because I don't have a purse. Um, right. But I used to every time I go to a counter at the uh, like when you go pay um, for your groceries or something, you pretend to drop your purse on the ground and then you can search for coins on the floor. Oh my! God. Oh gosh! Yeah. It's great. I've, <laughs> oh I found goodness. some good. Good stuff under there. I found a ten pound note, which is pretty valuable. That's one mm-hmm. whole uh meal. A couple wow. of really shitty like yeah. two two P, but um I remember back home I found fifty dollars. I, I didn't say anything. Do you do that Took every it. time? <laughs> not every time. Just just when I, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> That's funny. You're gonna make it look like you're you're dropping it on purpose, so then you're like, "Oh, sorry, I dropped some things," and then you're just like, kind of like shuffling around. That's Good luck, funny. You gotta yeah. get that freelance life going. <laughs> <laughs> when you really mm-hmm. need every coin, you know, you know, you never know. Um, <laughs> That's a good one, though. It, so, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good one. Now everyone's going to be doing it. And then now it's not going to be yep. a secret. Yeah. Uh, There's not going to be anything to find. Well, the secret yeah. is if you want to give people money, just drop a couple dollars or some change <laughs> underneath a thing. You know, yeah. Underneath yeah, the- there you go. <laughs> yeah. Just for me, guys. Just yep. for me. <laughs> give a kilo, take a kilo. Wait, what? <laughs> what is it again? Pound. Those are pounds. Pounds. Right. Kilos. Pounds, yeah. So confused. Yeah, pounds and kilos. Uh, mm-hmm. I do kilos because in Australia, I do kilos, meters, mm-hmm. kilometers. What do they Actually, do there? Do, what do they do in the UK? Don't they do that? Uh, they do miles, but they do kilograms. Really? Yeah, I. I thought I was they like, wow, kilometers. They don't no, do they kilometers? don't. But they drive on the same side as Australia. Yeah. yeah. No thanks. Yeah, I thought wow. it was weird too. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, at least it is in London. I haven't been. Anywhere else but London. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we really appreciate you being on. I, I, I uh, stick around after. Don't, don't hang up. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> starting to mention that to people Goodbye. now because Goodbye. they, we finish the show and they just hang up and it's like, no, 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 we're just hanging up on the audience. We're not hanging up on you. Yeah. So um, we can chat afterwards as well. Um, Herrerasaurus dot work is your website but you also are on all the social things right like yeah twitter and instagram and uh, what's yeah, your name on there herrerasaurus on instagram uh and herrerasaurus but with herrera dash saurus for twitter because okay. i couldn't get herrerasaurus it's already taken um yeah but also uh yeah i i have an old website uh just herrerasaurus.com but I haven't, don't look at that one. That's my old website, but I'm trying to get <laughs> that go one there. to link to my <laughs> new website. But I know a lot of people have that old website. So um, I gave out a lot of business cards and stuff and people will be like, oh, why, this must be another Jess. Oh, no, okay. it's still me. Still me. Just in case. Just, yeah, just in case. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, you can rate us on iTunes, leave a review, you can subscribe on your podcatcher of choice, helps get our ratings up, you can subscribe to our newsletter, which goes out every month now, gives you all the details on events that are coming up, and streams that are coming up, and past streams, and uh, articles, and fun things related to MoGraph.com, make sure you get on that list, you can find out when that new uh, that new Houdini course is, is dropping, mm-hmm. I can't wait, I can't wait, so excited, it's so good, and... Uh, you can say you've been there, done that, got the t-shirt with the MoGraph logo T, the Paul Bab, Feel the Bab 2020 shirt, all the profits from that. Go to Doctors Without Borders, and then you got the Render Things t-shirt hoodie, long sleeve T, and the That Render is Fire shirt, which you are only allowed to wear ironically. And that's it. Yay. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, YouTube, and of course, MoGraph.com. Make sure that you subscribe to us and uh Make sure if you are subscribed to our old channel that you subscribe to the new channel because the other one will not have any streams or anything anymore after the first of the year. Yep. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to get out of here. Till next time, I'm Dave. I'm Matt. I'm Jess. Have a good one. Later, yo. Bye. <laughs>
pretty good, I guess. MoGraph.com, an online resource for motion graphic artists. Start your week with the MoGraph podcast. Industry news, interviews with your favorite artists, and terrible humor. Watch live shows and interviews from MoGraph events like NAB, Seagraph, Half Res, and local meetups. <laughs> Our MoGraph talks feature live demos and motivation from artists all around the world. Sometimes you got to make stuff that you're not going to put on your reel, and I'm not here to judge. What if Rick and Morty show up for the countdown at midnight? That's where I peaked in life, in my career. We got to stop this thing, Rick! It's going to kill us all! Hear from the people that create your software, design your render engines, and artists that are changing the face of modern motion graphics. You get that render done. Yeah, you better frame, frame what? MoGraph tutorials and online classes will teach you about Cinema 4D, After Effects, as well as other popular software and render engines. Throw in the HDR Studio, take the render settings, pick the HDR, put a reflection, and gorgeous. Branch into new software, learn time-saving tips, techniques, workflows, and lessons that'll keep you up to date in the world of motion design. Oh, brother, those are some of my favorite elves. I love projects that scare me. When our art director comes to us and asks for something that I had never done before, man, it gets me pumped. Join the conversation in our live sessions. Check out our plugins or join the hundreds of daily active users in our Slack channel for technical help, advice, contests, or just to joke around. Real nice banana. Ah, that's so funny. All right. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> Subscribe today and get the latest updates on our YouTube and other social media channels. Take all your dreams and just do it! We don't care how you get here, folks. Just get here. Subscribe to MoGraph.com.